stop the music. And oh, now we hear the Stardew Valley music. What a great transition. <laughs> All right, audio check. Let's see, let's see. My switch is picking up and my headset's picking up. And of course, I always talk very loud. Oh no, my switch, don't, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. All right, and again, just like usual like what we do usually if the audio is acting weird just let me know um i'm i'll be checking quite frequently to make sure the audio is still picking up but if there's something weird going on just let me know so i can fix it right away and that we can all enjoy the stream together and hear me ramble for two hours <laughs> but today is our first stardew valley stream we're starting off well no we're ending pride month with a Stardew Valley stream, but that's totally fine because we're gonna get back into Legend of Zelda. Um, I just switched over from Legend of Zelda. We're gonna get back into that at July 29th. So I'll get back into Legend of Zelda um, near the end of July. So we'll spend a whole month on Stardew Valley and just seduce the town. Let's see how far we get. You know, we have all the bachelors and bachelorettes. Let's see who we can, you know, seduce and maybe trap by the end of the month. <laughs> but, um, Oh, and also, before we get started, I already filled out my player profile because it takes a long time. When I custom, when there's a game that has customizable characters, I will spend two hours just customizing my character. So I got this done and out of the way <laughs> before <laughs> before um, before the stream started, because I don't think you guys want to watch me customize my character for like half an hour. But anyways, so I have my farmer already. Um, I'm going to be the farmer for the game so I can like play out my fantasy in this virtual farming game and seducing a town. And then my farm name, I have a Floop 2.0 because um, whenever there's a game like Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, I always like naming the town or the place Floop for some reason. I started doing that in like Animal Crossing New Leaf. So it just became um, a reoccurring thing for me. So this is Floop 2.0. I do have a main save, but now I'm starting a new one just for the stream. And we're going to do a forest farm because I have a um, a wilderness from my main save. And I wanted to try something new and I thought the forest farm would be really cute. You know, I can decorate it and like, make it look like, all oh, cute. So we'll get into this. I'm not going to skip the intro. So in case if like anyone never plays Stardew Valley before, you get like the whole backstory. Um, and get to know like what's wait do i have to hit load now wait did i hit back <sighs> one moment <laughs> really did i seriously hit back i did i put the hit okay anyway well i know what i'm gonna do i already did it i already did it okay well my name well i guess we do have to watch it <laughs> my name is deidre in case you don't know uh it's all over my uh handles anywhere twitch uh twitter uh youtube all of that i just this is deidre that is me because i am deidre and then floop 2.0 and oh while i'm getting this set up we reached a big milestone today right when um the, <laughs> right when the stream started i got my first spam message in the chat um i deleted it and banned the person because it was like some um, like some some scam thing it was like want to be famous and I was like no delete ban bye <laughs> I don't want spam or like self promo in the chat box because that's not fun <laughs> well I'm gonna make myself really pale because I am pale and then I think my hair that I had picked out with yeah that one and then I had like 80 no that one so yeah, I reached my first big milestone. I guess like I'm getting popular. I got my first spam message. Next thing you know, I'll be a Twitch affiliate. What do you think? <laughs> but yeah, it happened like right when I went live. Like it popped up. I'm like, oh, someone already chatting. And it was like, want to be famous with a bunch of star emojis. I was like, no, thank you. Uh, Please leave. Thank you. <laughs> but we did it, you guys. We did it. We have our first. Yeah, that, that was kind of like the eye code I had before. We had our first major milestone and probably more to come, I'm pretty sure. Now, I want glasses, but the glasses look kind of ugly. That's the glasses I had before. Four is fine. Okay. And, oh, shoot. I hate it when I have to. Okay, so then we go down here and then we hit okay. There we go. Yes, Floop 2.0 and Deidre. Perfect. All right. <laughs> I messed it up. 
<laughs> before then. But this is our first Stardew Valley stream. I'm going to stream until 10 tonight, maybe 10.30. No, no. know. Oh, okay, let's watch the intro. So in case if anyone doesn't know Stardew Valley, I'll, I'll try to be quiet this time during the intro. Could I have a tendency to ramble like what I'm doing right now? But uh, pretty much our grandpa's dead. Spoiler alert. <laughs> You're going to find out right now. Um, ooh, an envelope. Thank you, Gramps. Don't open it yet. I'm, I'm impatient, though. Now listen close. I'm. You need to speak up, Gramps. I have a hearing loss. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, he's trying to motion me to come forward. All right, I'll get a little bit closer. There'll come a day where you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Yes. Yes, I already feel that way. <laughs> Your bright spirit will fade before going into emptiness. Damn. <laughs> well, I mean, he's on his deathbed. He's going to get, like, philosophical, I guess. But, um... Oh, I just forgot what he said. Then when that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Cool. Well, I'm already ready. <laughs> Give me the gift. I want the gift now. Why is he twitching his hand? I like Grandpa Reds. I thought he was dying. He does die. Oh, X amount of years later. He's dead already. When we get the farm... We get it because he dies, and he, like, hands it off to us. Oh, JoJo Corporation. Here's the thing. I don't want to spoil the storyline, but Jo... No, not JoJo. Not, like, JoJo C. What? JoJo. JoJo is a bad guy. Okay. And we're working a little cubicle. Life sucked. We have a 9-to-5 cubicle job. I would hate to have that. That's so... No, thank you. Ah, cubicle is dumb. See, I'm sad. I'm sad because I'm stuck in um his cubicle i don't know if i can rant about capitalism didn't joe biden made that illegal <laughs> to like anti-capitalist stuff oh do i have to grab it do i have to grab it oh, oh okay dear dear if you're reading this you must be in dire need of a change the same thing happened to me long ago i'd be lost what I, oh i lost the sight of what mattered most in life real connections with other people in nature Okay, well, I um I have, like, social anxiety, so I'll just deal with nature for now. <laughs> so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed of that place. Ooh, cool, we get a house. I don't have to pay a mortgage, thank God. <laughs> My pride and joy, Floop 2.0 Farm! It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern, co southern coast. Oh, for some reason I thought Stardew Valley was more, like, in the Midwest. I don't know. Well, East Coast, I don't, I have no idea where it is. It's the perfect place to start your life. This was my precious gift for all, and now it's yours. Yes, I'll honor the family. Family, thank you, Grandpa. Oh, P.S., if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me. No, I won't. Another spoiler alert. I don't like Lewis. Mayor Lewis. He's a dirty man. I'm not going to spoil it, because I, I do, I did get pretty far in my main save, I'm not going to tell you why I don't like Lewis, because we're going to find out why we don't like Mayor Lewis. And I'm sure you guys won't like him either. He's a jerk. He's awful. Oh, do I have to press something? Oh, I did have to press the button. <laughs> Stardew Valley. So yeah, we reached our first milestone. I got my first spam message in the chat. <laughs> my first scam message. Woohoo! It was like... I, I didn't even read the full message. I just saw the first line, and it was like, do you want to be famous? Click on my account. And I was like, oh, block, ban, get out of here, please. Oh, Robin, hello, you must be due to I am. Robin, local carpenter, Mayor Lewis, we hate that guy. Show me my new home. Cool. You'll follow me. So my goal today, because um, Stardew Valley, it's a farming simulator game, and you take in, you inherit your grandpa's farm, you build it up, make it look all pretty, but you can also flirt with people. And I get a little bit more caught up in the flirting aspect than like the actual farming aspect. So the farm is going to be like a side job, but our main job is seducing the people in Pelican Town. <laughs> and then, oh, I have to clean it up. Uh, I don't have that much energy. Do I have to do that? So this stream is going to be, like, the introduction and stuff like that. And, you know, we're not going to make a bunch of money right off the bat. Oh, you, Mayor Lewis, the new farmer. Hello, Mayor. The crooked man. We'll, we'll get into that later. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Wow, thank you, Mayor Lewis, I guess. I don't want to thank him, though. I don't want him to think I'm grateful towards him. I'm not grateful towards you, Mayor Lewis. I know who you are. <laughs> He's a jerk. You'll find out later. 
and crusty. It's a little crusty, yeah, but it's vintage, you know, vintage back in style. People, you know, retro. I was trying, oh, I do want to upgrade the house, so. Anyways, you might be tired. I am tired. Uh, they keep on talking. They do talk a lot in the intro, just so you know. But I didn't want to skip the intro, just in case if anyone hasn't played Stardew Valley before, because it can be, like, kind of overwhelming, just jumping straight into it without, like, the backstory. Good luck. Thank you, Mayor Lewis. But pretty much, we had to clean this up, start farming, and make money. That's the main goal, and make the farm look cool, and help the town people. But I'm here to flirt. And, oh, oh I, I know how to move. Unlike Legend of Zelda, I'm kind of an expert, not gonna brag, I'm a little bit of an expert with this game. Unlike Legend of Zelda. Um, oh, I had to pick this up. Parsnips. Cool, cool, cool. I received parsnip. Mill Lewis, I don't like Mill Lewis. Getting started. Okay, so we have to plant a parsnip. And then we have to meet everyone in town. And then, ooh, the... The forest cabin's very interesting, very Christmas-like, I would say. Okay, so let's clean this up. We have 15 parsnips. I might as well, like, plant all of them right now. So I'll just, like, clear up this spot. And I'm just going to plant it right in the middle of um our house. Okay, cool. Oops, I missed. All right. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I forgot. That's right. Oh, we have, like, really bad um tools right now. We have to, like, upgrade our tools and they'll be better. Oops, I missed again. All right, so let's plant these parsnips. And then let's go meet people. So that is three, five, no, four or five. <laughs> I'm really bad with math, just so you know. All right, two, three, four, five. Oops, five, two, three. Four, five. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Plant these parsnips. Oop, 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 oop. Oop, oop. Oh my god, I'm going all over the place. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been a while since I played Stardew Valley, actually. Like, this whole past, like, who was it? Like, I think, like, this past week, I've been out of town. And so I'm trying to get back into, like, this streaming mindset. <laughs> because I wasn't able to stream on Thursday. Because I was out of state for a funeral. But now I'm back. I'm ready. I'm ready to play Stardew Valley. I'm ready to seduce people. I already know who I'm going to marry, though. <laughs> but, like, I'm going to date everyone. I want to keep an open mind. And I want to see, like, what the storyline is for everyone. But I already know who I'm going to marry. I'm not going to tell you guys. Because it's going to be pretty obvious when I run into them. <laughs> I won't be able to, like, hold back my feelings. <laughs> I love this character so much. But you'll find out who it is. I'm not going to spoil it right now. Oh, I didn't even look at the farm. Because I never had the forest. Oh, that's right. I have to get that. Little pro tip. You see worms in the ground. Hoe it up. <laughs> you to hoe and get it up. But we will be hoeing up in this stream. We will. Okay, so. Oh, we need to talk to her. This is Marnie. I mean, oh, hi, Marnie. She's all right. Uh, she, like, has a ranch, and she sells, like, chickens, cows, and, like, all the livestock and ranch stuff. And she's nice and all. It's just, I don't like her. She never does her job. She's never at her, um, ranch to sell you stuff. But, um, I mean, she's all right. We have to befriend her, though, because there's going to be a quest that comes up. This is Gus. He has a saloon. There's going to be a quest that pops up where, like, we need to be friends with Marnie. So I should probably friend her, befriend her now. All right, cool, cool, cool. I need to give her a gift because I want to be friends with her. I'm going to need her later. Have some seeds. She's not so happy about that. <laughs> Wait, can I walk in here yet? So this is Pierre. Here's, like, a little local shop. Oh, I can walk into his house. He sells all the seeds, and he has a wife and a kid. There's his kid. Her name is Abigail. We can hook up with her, too. But she's one of the bachelorettes, because there's bachelors and bachelorettes. I think there's six of each. Um, Maybe six or seven. I'm not so sure. So she's one of the bachelorettes. And... 
and there's like there's like way more there's so many people that we have to meet oh this is one of the bachelor too his name is alex i think alex yeah i don't like him that much but we're gonna have to seduce him i'll see you around okay bye alex we're gonna have to seduce him unfortunately but like i he's not my cup of tea but i don't know his backstory hey hey let me talk to you let me talk fine i'll talk to your husband this is george He's an old man, and then this is his wife, Evelyn. Evelyn's really nice. I love Evelyn. We need to be friends with her so she can give me free food because I don't have a kitchen yet. Oh, I gotta pick this up. Pick this up. Nah. I'm just gonna walk into people's houses <laughs> just so I can meet them. This is Pam. This is Leslie's favorite. Leslie plays Stardew Valley too. We have a joint uh, farm. Don't be a jerk. All right, Pam, I won't be a jerk. We have a joint farm that we're running, which is pretty fun because you can do um, co-op. So you can play online with people, like with your friends. And so we have a farm together and Leslie's best friend is Pam. And I don't I don't blame her because Pam. Oh, I need to talk to this guy. He has, he has weird hair. Hello, Sam. He has like Dragon Ball Z hair. Pam is Leslie's favorite. And, oh, this is Leah. She's another bachelorette. And then Sam's a bachelor, too. I think there's seven of them. Maybe I think there's six. No, I think there's six. And this is Penny. She's Pam's daughter. Um, uh, where else do I need to go to meet people? How many more people do I have to meet? Cause Pam is Leslie's favorite. Uh, you can't date Pam. I wish you could. That'd be really fun. I wish you could date everyone in this game, but unfortunately you can't. Um, and then like my favorite minus the Bachelor and Bachelorettes is Linus. He's um, a guy that lives in the mountains. He lives in a tent. This is Clint. He's a blacksmith. We should go find Linus right now. Uh, he's a homeless guy in the game. and He lives in a tent on the mountains. And I love him. Linus is so fun. He was my first uh, Max friendship that I had in the game. <laughs> and he sends you food, too. And he's really nice. He's a good friend to have around. He's a pretty chill guy. I don't want to be friends with money, but we have to. Because we're going to get a quest that comes up. Alright, so let's go over here. Because there's more people that live over here. I want to find Linus. I want to find Linus. Linus is going to be up on the mountains. So. Because for this, for this, well, for the stream, we're going to be pretty much getting stuff set up. And then maybe start seducing people. Oh, Linus isn't in here. And maybe start seducing people. I don't really have an order. Of who I should seduce first. Oh, that's Mo. I need to talk to Mo. Oh, no, Linus is over here. I'm not going to talk to Mo. Yeah, I'm going to talk to Linus first. Hello, Linus. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to talk to you more. <laughs> and I don't have, like, an order of, like, who we should date first. I'm going to date all of them at the same time. But, um, I don't know if I should do bachelorettes first and then bachelors last or, like, vice versa. Or if I should just, like, mix it up and just go with the flow. Maru is another bachelor, bachelorette. She's pretty cool. And then, oh wait, she has a brother though. Oh, I need to go inside her house. What am I doing? Because Maru has a half brother. His name is Sebastian. He's going to be in the house. I think he's going to be in his room. Oh, that that's Robin's husband. Hello, Demetrius. I did meet your daughter. Do I need to introduce myself to Robin? I think she already knows me. No, I haven't met everyone. I was in town. I think Sebastian's in his room. He is. Uh, I can't. I can't open it. All right. Well, he comes out at night. I think he like smokes by the lake. So we'll just come back out at night. And then, let's see. Let's see. So let's try to get all the introductions done. Seventeen. I have eleven more people to meet. Oh my god. I don't think there'll be anything over here. Mm, no, not really. No, there's no one over here. Maybe I need to go to the library. But I, want, I do want to forage because we have no money. And I'm going to need to buy more seeds. Let's see. I don't want to go in there. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I need to talk to this guy. <laughs> this is Harvey. He's the town's doctor. And, um, Harvey's my favorite bachelor. I'm just going to say it. And, oh, there's a child. I'll talk to the child. 
the kids in Stardew Valley are kind of alright, I guess. Harvey is my favorite bachelor. Um, it's probably the mustache. Um, I love a good facial hair, you know. People think his mustache is creepy, and um, I do take offense to that. <laughs> I think his mustache is great. I know that there's mods to get rid of his mustache if you're playing on the computer. I'm not. I'm playing on uh, the Nintendo Switch. And there's mods to get rid of the mustache, and I think that is just awful. I love his mustache. I think it adds to his character. <laughs> Maybe I need to go in here. Is there more people there? No, there's not. I don't think there's a book missing here. Oh, chips on farming. Oh, I should have read that. <laughs> yeah, fertilizer, fruit trees, crops die when the seasons end. Some crops, such as kale and wheat. All right, cool. I already know that. Do I need to introduce myself to him? Let's see. Oh, that's right. He lost all the artifacts or something. So we also have to, like, Donate stuff to the museum. Okay. But yeah, so people don't like Harvey's mustache. I love his mustache. I think it's a very... I think it's, it, it works for him. It worked for him. Because there's, like, some people where they just kind of really need facial hair. Or else they just look a little off. Like, not not that they look bad. But, like, you know there's something missing. Oh, here's Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Shane's a fan's. Shane's a fan's favorite. Um, he's alright, I guess. <laughs> oh, when you talk to this guy, welcome to Jojo. My, how are you, Morris? Morris? We don't like Morris. We don't like Mayor Lewis. We don't like Morris. And Marnie's on thin ice. All right, but Morris is like the bad guy in the game. He's a dirty capitalist. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, because I saw somewhere that, I don't know if this is true or not, I don't really pay attention to the news that much, but I saw somewhere, was it on TikTok, where, where was it, like, there's like some anti, cat. like, if you say something anti-capitalist, like, I don't know if it's like a meme or something, but like, there was like some law where you can't be anti-capitalist, or something. I have no idea, which, I mean, this is a great game to play, because <laughs> Stardew Valley loves to shit on capitalism, but then there's a point in Stardew Valley where you become the villain. You either live long, what, what is that quote? You either die a hero, live long enough to see yourself become a villain. Was that from Joker? I don't know. I don't watch a lot of movies, if you can't tell. This is Elliot. He's another bachelor. He's all right, I guess. <laughs> he's, he's okay. I mean, we're gonna have to seduce him. Maybe we should seduce Elliot first. Maybe I should do that. Well, he already went in his house, so I can't give him a gift. And I don't know what he would like. I know what Harvey likes. I I, I know all his favorites, of course. Because <laughs> I love Harvey. Oh. Oh, Willie. Willie's gone. Willie is fishing. He's probably by, um, he's really in the forest or by a lake somewhere. So, I don't know a lot of the... That was rude. Some car just rubbed the engines. I'm streaming, excuse you. How rude. <laughs> oh, it's getting dark out now. But, um, I don't know any of, like, the characters' favorites. All I know is Harvey's favorite because my eyes only see Harvey. <laughs> I love Harvey so much. <laughs> he is my favorite bachelor. I'm gonna give everyone, like, a fair chance, because I, I could be proven out. Maybe I'll fall in love with some other person. Hi, Haley. The one for the horrendous coach, Matthew, would be pretty. Hey, okay, I mean, maybe we don't like Haley either, but I have to seduce her. She's a bachelor, bachelorette, too. But I'm gonna give everyone a fair chance, but I am most certain that I'll end up marrying Ivy. <laughs> I just love Ivy so much. He's a doctor, first of all. Like, I'm, I'm immunocompromised. So, marrying a doctor, perfect. Because he probably doesn't make a lot of money since he, like, works in a small town. But, like, I could probably get perks, you know? Like, I get sick. And, like, I don't have to worry about running to the doctor because the doctor lives with me. My inventory is full. Oh, that sucks. The doctor lives with me. So I just feel like it's like a win-win. You know, he has a nice mustache. He's a doctor. Like, what can go wrong? Harvey's great. I know that a lot... Oop. 
oh, I can't get over here. Are you kidding me? I forgot that that my farm's all dirty. Because I know that Shane's a huge fan favorite in the Stardew Valley um, community. Um, what do they call it? Do they call it a fandom or just a Stardew Valley community? I have no idea. But a lot of players love Shane. And, I mean, he's okay. I see him more as a friend, though. That's my problem. I don't know. It's just he doesn't give me, like, husband vibes. Ooh, everything's so dark in here. I'm going to turn on the fire. Ooh, Ooh is it going to rain tomorrow? It's going to be sunny. Okay, fine. Because we have to water the plants. We have to do work instead of seducing people. But, I mean, Shane's all right. He's, he's cool. He's a nice guy once you get to know him. But I would say he's in, like, my top three for The Bachelors, uh, for Bachelorettes. Um, probably, like, Abigail's, like, my most favorite. Then I do like Maru, and then I do like Penny. But, oh, Advertise Me. I keep finding cool stuff in my backpack, but it's full. Does it sound like you or Pia got you covered? Pia, I'm broke, though. I don't know if I can afford that. Oh. Oh, hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down by the beach sometime. I got something for you. Willie. Great. Cool, Willie. Do we need to meet Willie? Who else do we need to meet? We only have three more people left. So then, who all do I have? Abin, Gus, Pia, Abigail, Alex, George, Evelyn, Pam, Sam, Mia, Penny, Clint, Linus, Mario, Demetrius, Hi, Hi, <laughs> Vincent. Oh, I need to talk to another child. Jody, Caroline, them, 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 them. Oh, Sebastian. Oh, it tells you who we need to meet. Okay, we need to meet Sebastian. We need to meet this child. I think her name is Jazz. And then Willie. And then there's a wizard, but I don't know if we can meet him yet. But I don't think he counts in the, um, because they just said we need to meet three more people. Okay, let's water these parsnips. Get that goal out of the way. Oh, we need to visit Marnie. Give her a gift. Um, maybe I can find a flower to give her. Cause we need her to be our friend. Cause there's gonna be a goal that comes up, and we need to have like a two heart level friendship with Marnie. Cause there's friendship rankings in the game. I think it goes up to like ten hearts for like non marriage um players, and then eight hearts for like. Bachelors and bachelorette is locked. Okay, fine. I just wait out here. And so, with money, we need to get to like a two height level. Oh, sorry, Shane. Oh, let me talk to you. Wait, what do you want? Go away. Okay, fine. Well, I mean, I guess it was nice speaking to you. Is he just gonna stare at me? Oh, okay, goodbye. I'm waiting for your aunt to open up her store. So, we need to get to like a two height level friendship with money. And then, um, we'll be able to do that quest. Because I think, like, in, like, a few days, Mayor Lewis is going to send us mail that, like, he lost something at Monty's house. Oh, that's why I need to give her something. I'll give her a dandelion. I mean, dandelions are cute. <laughs> they're nice. You know, I know they're, like, weeds and stuff and, like, an invasive species, I guess. But I'll give her a dandelion. Maybe she likes it. You never know. All right. Okay, so it's 8.20. I hope Monty doesn't leave her ranch, because she does that, because she runs this ranch where you can buy animals from her, you can buy hay, you know, buy stuff for your farm, and she's the only person that sells farm stuff in the, in the game, but she won't be behind the counter selling stuff, she'll be, like, off, you know, doing yoga, she'll be off, um, oh, okay, nine o'clock, come on, money, money, no, money, money, no, what are you doing, no, money, where are you going, cool, no, Marnie, we, I, I wanted to get stuff. Marnie, what are you doing? I'm not getting enough funds with money. Money, I need to give you a gift. Marnie, I need to give you a gift. <gasps> that bitch. Marnie. Ma Fine, I'll talk to you and your niece. Hello, Jazz. See, this is what I'm saying. And I can't get in there because she's like staring at her dresser. She never does anything. She's never, because she's supposed to be behind here. And she's never there. Oh my god, Marnie. Marnie, I have a dandelion for you. Marnie. 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 
she's gonna leave soon. Is today the yoga thing? Cause she is that Tuesdays or Monday? I have no idea. Marnie, give me oh, fine. I can't. I can't leave it anywhere. Okay, fine. Money, whatever. Give you a dandelion later. God, see what a bitch. I don't like money. <laughs> I really don't like money in this game. Her schedule is like so crazy to follow, and there is like a Wikipedia page with all their schedules, because that's the thing, all the Marnie fans, the Marnie stands, they hate it when people, like, talk shit about Marnie, ooh, a base, oh, that's right, I need to talk to Willie, they hate it when people talk shit about Marnie, because her schedule is very inconsistent, she's not a good store owner, or anything, because she's never at her store, she's always gone, always running off, to the grocery store or she's in her room for like hours and then doesn't leave or oh there's really oh she's gonna talk to us whatever but I don't like money and everyone's like just look up the schedule but like when you go on the wikipedia page a third of her schedule is listed as unknown it's like I can't win no wikipedia doesn't know where money is I do not like money oh wait there miss hello hello really Oh, that's right, he talks a lot. Cool, cool, cool. Can I get a fishing pole? Can I get a fishing pole? Give, give me the fishing pole. Cool, great, thank you. <laughs> Bamboo pole. Can I move now? No, I can't. Uh, he's, he's gonna stare at the sea. I know, the water looks pretty cool. Yeah, I know. I was trying to get to your shop before, and you you went there. <laughs> All right, cool, Willie. I do like Willie, but he he does talk a lot. I mean, like I don't. <laughs> but okay, so cool. So now I have a fishing pole. Oh, I need to organize. Oh, my my things fall again. I need to get. Oh, I could give money a daffodil. Maybe daffodils are better. I don't know. I think Moni is going to her um, aerobics class. That's what it is, not yoga, it's aerobics. <sighs> so I talked to Willie, I talked to Jazz, so I'll, I'm not going to talk to him earlier. Well, I just need to talk to Sebastian, but he's probably not going to come out till um, night. Would he notice if I took some of his trash? <gasps> he didn't. Okay, cool, great, great. Can, you can go through trash cans in the game, and then you get free food pretty cool he didn't even notice all right great see there she is money 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 oh good she likes my daffodil okay cool are we friends yet money money are we friends no we need to be friends soon i need to get i need to be friends with her for that first for the first goal the little um objective thing that mailu is gonna make us do Okay, hey, I guess I'll sell this. Guess, well, who should I seduce first? Should I seduce Elliot first? I have Alex. Um, I don't want to seduce Alex right now. Um, I never even tried to seduce Sam or Leah, my previous same. So that would be kind of good. But, like, I think we should also seduce Elliot. Maybe just get him out of the way. I mean... <laughs> I'm not a huge Elliot fan. He's cool. Maybe we should seduce Haley because she's I I don't really like her as much. Who else? Oh, I shouldn't. Yeah, I shouldn't meet Sebastian. And, um. Oh, Harvey. I I really want to seduce Harvey, but I'm gonna try to save him. You know, deal with people that I don't like first, and then go to Harvey. <laughs> I can always oh, Linus here. <gasps> Where's Linus? I want to be friends with Linus. Linus! Linus, I have a daffodil. You're welcome, Li- No. I'm not trying to ridicule you. I'm trying to be your friend, Linus. Jeez. He has trust issues. I don't blame him. <laughs> Linus is fine. You know, he's really nice once you get to know him. <laughs> he's just a little bit, you know. He has to put on, like, a tough face. Because, I guess, people in the- how it isn't that nice to him. Hello, Demetrius. I'll just talk to Demetrius. Sebastian's still on there. When is he gonna come out? I need to talk to him. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll just go back upstairs. Uh. Oh, 
Alrighty. Let's see, let's see. So then, is there anything? Delivery. Oh, a base. Oh, but that's from Mayor Lewis. Do I want to get... Where is the base again? Is that in... Is that in a river? Let's see. Animal Crossing, they're in oceans. But they're also in the river. Let me try the river first. Um, yeah, they could be in the river. Can I fish next to Linus? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fish next to Linus. Oh my god, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna bond. How fun. I want Linus to be my first friend. I do like Linus. I know how to fish in the game. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think because I didn't hit skip intro, they're gonna like do like a tutorial walkthrough for me. What's this? Sunfish? Oh, cool. I need a bath. <gasps> Linus! Linus! Okay, fine, whatever. I, it's fine, I'll be back like tomorrow to talk to him. I'm, I'm, maybe the bath is like in the river. Oh, he's probably in the river. This, this is a lake. Let me get that league for George. My inventory's full. I don't need this. I can just sell that. Get that. I'm gonna give George a leak. I probably should get more wood. So I could uh, build a chest. Oh yeah, I need a lot of wood. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Hello, Demetrius. Right, I'm gonna give George this leak. He's the old grumpy guy. Um, I don't know, I really, I didn't try being friends with him either in my, in my main save. So maybe I should try to be friends with George. Cause his wife Evelyn is really nice, she gives us cookies. So we do want to befriend her so we get free food. I'm gonna look through the trash, I look through the trash, I already did. I'm gonna look through this trash, let me, oh, I, I look through that trash too, are you kidding me? Okay, fine. George likes leaks. You're welcome, George. I knew that from Wikipedia. <laughs> All right, let's see. So I just need to talk to Sebastian, but he's probably not going to come out till like five o'clock anyways. So maybe I should like um, cut down some trees. Maybe clear out my farm a little bit. I can make it cute, you know. Let's. See. Oh, another. I could sell that. I could sell that. I do need a forage, cause that will help us get a lot of money. Okay. Like, well, I need the wood. I don't want the sap. I just need the wood. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. I'm not used to having the lower end tools. In my main save, I like upgrade them to the highest. So I was like, I'm back to square one. I'm just not used to it. Okay, let's see. I'm, I don't want this sap. The sap is kind of useless. Okay, so I'm going to sell that fish. And I'm going to sell that dandelion. And then I'm going to make a box so I can store stuff. So then my inventory doesn't get all um, backed up again. I'm gonna put the box right here. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Put that in there. I'm gonna organize it. And then I guess I should just clean this up. Oh no, I should talk to Sebastian. Oh, that's right. He's probably by the um uh the lake. I do not know how to get through here. Okay, cool. Oh, I should also explore my farm, because I'm not used to the farm, not the farm, the, um, the forest farm setup. Because in my, say, my main one, I have the wilderness setup. And in the wilderness one, monsters come out after 7 p.m. to attack you, which is really fun. <laughs> but, um, I wanted a different setup. I didn't want to keep reusing the same layer. Oh my god, that rabbit scared me. He should be over here, shouldn't he? Where is he? Oh, he may be, oh no, he may be making food. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh my gosh, I need to talk to him. He's always in his room. Is he, in, is, is he out of his room? Is he in the kitchen? Maru, get out of my way. Maru, no, he's not. Where is he? Oh, he's leaving his room. I'm gonna wait right here. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for him to come up. Hello. I did just move in. 
Okay, cool. I also do like Sebastian, you know, because um, I don't know. Oh, I need to give someone a gift. I already gave someone a gift, though. <sighs> Does Sebastian want a leak? Is he going to come outside? Have a leak. He doesn't like it. <laughs> okay, getting started. Yeah, I still need to harvest that. I'm not going to get Mary Lewis a, a bath, but I do like... I do like Sebastian. He's like my second favorite bachelor. Um, because uh, this could be so embarrassing, but I did have an emo phase in middle school. I know it happened to the best of us. <laughs> um, and I was just so in middle school, I was so obsessed with emo couples <laughs> that like I really, really wanted an emo boyfriend in middle school because I was just. Like, I see all of these, like, scene queens on, um, it was, like, YouTube, Tumblr, and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't know I was talking to Penny. I'm gonna steal from, I already stole from his garbage. And I just see, like, a lot of pictures, like, these scene queens and their boyfriends. And I was like, wow. And I was like, wow, that's like such the, I didn't know if my headset turned off. I was like, wow, that's like such a fantasy. They're living like the best life ever. <laughs> they have a boyfriend where both of their aesthetics matches. What more could I want in life? <laughs> and I really, really wanted like an emo boyfriend. <laughs> and uh, surprise, surprise, I didn't get one <laughs> in middle school. I was only like, I only had my emo phase. From, like, just 6th to 8th grade by, like, um, high school. I kind of, like, got out of it. And I really wanted the emo boyfriend. And I think, like, and I'm, I don't I don't call myself emo anymore. You know, I'm not going to be a poser or anything. <laughs> but uh, I'm out of my emo phase now. But I still get a little bit of a soft spot when I see a boy with a fringe. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, my middle school me would have loved him. <laughs> so Sebastian is kind of like my second favorite bachelor, purely because he's uh, he looks emo. I don't know if he is emo, but he definitely has an emo haircut going on. <laughs> and I just, I just know that my middle school self would jump on him, like, the second she gets a chance. <laughs> Because, oh my god, I was so desperate to find an emo boyfriend. And, like, in middle school, we have, like, very slim pickings. Like, us emo girls in middle school, it was rough. <laughs> there was, like, only one emo guy in, like, our whole entire middle school. At least, like, in my grade. And it was just... And he wasn't that good. I mean, he was cute. But, like, uh, personality-wise, he was an asshole. <laughs> and it was, it was rough for us emo girls back in, like, what... Um, Oh my god, what was it? Like, it was in 2010, was it? No, I was 11. Wait, no, maybe it was... <gasps> it was 2010. Oh my god. <laughs> it was rough for us back then. <laughs> I'm telling you, the emo girls in 2010, we were really struggling to find a nice emo guy that wasn't um, a misogynist, an asshole, or had anger issues. <laughs> But, like, Sebastian in this game, he's, like, perfect. He would have been so great for my middle school self. I mean, he has a little bit of an, ad an attitude, and uh, he likes to smoke cigarettes, which I don't really like that much. <laughs> but he's nice. <laughs> and he, he has a job. <laughs> he's, like, a computer software whatever guy. <laughs> And it's like, oh my god, it's such a match make in heaven because I went, like, I studied graphic design in college, graphic design and photography. Oh, we would have been such a power couple if he was real. If I was still emo, too, we would be, like, such an emo power couple. <laughs> All the other emo couples would, like, watch out for us because, like, oh my god, we'll be, like, the it couple. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> But yeah, I had an emo phase, and I was obsessed about emo guys, and then when I played this game and I saw there was an emo guy, I was like, oh my god. I was like, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need someone to hold me back. <laughs> but I do like, I like Harvey more, because I did date Sebastian in my main save. Oh, it's raining! Oh, cool! That means we can not do work. <laughs> but, um... In my main save, I dated Sebastian, Maru, and Penny. 
in a hobby, of course. But I dated those four in my main stage because they were, like, my favorites. I didn't date Abigail because I got more of, like, a friend vibe from her. Like, I wanted to be her friend. I didn't want to date her. But, um, but she is, like, my favorite bachelorette because she's really funny. But so I dated Sebastian in my main stage. And I didn't marry him because he was a little bit of a jerk. Well, he would have, like, um, he would have days where, like, he's, like, really grumpy. And I remember, what was I think it was, like, in, like, during the spring. And, um, I, I finally got, like, my first jar of honey. Because you can, like, have bees in the game and, like, make honey in, like, the spring, summer, and maybe fall. I'm not so sure. And it takes a long time for, like, the honey to grow, like, like or to make the honey. And so I got my first jar of honey. I was so excited. And I thought, I'm going to give it to Sebastian because I was dating Sebastian at the time. And he was in bed. And, so like, he was, like, waking up. It was, like, 10 a.m., though. So it wasn't like I walked in at 5 a.m. And he was in bed, and I was talking to him. And he was like, uh, I'm so moody today. I was like, oh, no, that sucks. Here, have some honey to make your day better. He was like, I hate this. And I was like, oh, my God, I spent weeks making that honey. And I was so excited. And I gave it to him and he shit on it. He shit in my honey jar. And so I broke with I broke up with him immediately. after the, I got like a uh, little breakup thing because in the game you give them like bouquets if you want to date them. And if you and if you want to break up with them, you give them a burnt bouquet. And so I gave him a burnt bouquet immediately after he hated my jar of honey and he was still in bed i broke up with him when he was still in bed like he was just waking up and i was like i don't want to date you anymore you're an asshole <laughs> so because he was cool but you know if he's not gonna appreciate a uh, like a jar of honey that i spent weeks making is he the guy for me i don't think so and not trying to brag or anything or like compare the two but I gave Harvey a jar of honey and he loved it so I was like I have to marry him <laughs> and so yeah I mean I but like Sebastian is like a good runner-up purely on the fact that I had an emo phase and I really wanted an emo boyfriend <laughs> and I'm like trying to relive my <laughs> middle school fantasies oh my god I'm gonna die I'm trying to like relive my middle school fantasies in Stardew Valley no eat the leak eat the leak that's right, because they have energy bars in here. So if I overwork myself, I would, like, pass out. I'm trying to clean up my phone. I want to make it look cute. Ugh, it's going to take forever. So, yeah, so I think we will, um, oh, I need to talk to people. I need to be friends with Marnie. Oh, my God, I didn't give her anything yet. What do you think she'll like? I'm going to give her a maple seed. I don't know. <laughs> because... I know that she likes eggs. Marnie loves eggs, but I don't have eggs. I don't think I can buy. Can I buy eggs somewhere? I don't know if I can buy eggs somewhere. Maybe a Jojo Mart, but we don't support them. They're bad guys. They're capitalists. We aren't supporting them here. Um, uh, so I'll just give her a maple seed. I don't know if she's even at the store. Oh my gosh, she is this time. Wow. Yeah, so she is hanging on that. I don't really need this stuff. Marnie, I have a gift for you. Seriously? Fine, I guess I'll talk to her. I am soaked. I walked all the way out here in the rain to give you a maple seed and they won't even let me. I forgot that they make you do two gifts a week. Oh. Also, I'm not gonna spoil it, spoil it, but Mayor Lewis, we're gonna stalk him. Mayor Lewis has a thing for Marnie. But he does not deserve her. I mean, Marnie's not that good of a person, so she doesn't deserve, like, everything in the world. But she at least deserves, like, a good, stable relationship. And Mayor Lewis could not provide that to her. Because he, like, has a crush on her, but he tries to hide it. You didn't hear that from me. <laughs> in case if Mayor Lewis starts asking, you did not hear that from me. You just heard that from... You heard that from Haley. in case if he asks. But... First night at the old cottage. Oh, she's trying to get to know me? Ah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're trying to make sure that all of her business needs are met. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Mill Lewis. We all know what you're here for. He's here to hook up with her. You didn't hear that from me. 
<laughs> oh, do I need to talk to Leah? Oh, no, I need to talk to Leah. She's the artist. Leah's all right. I just feel like she's kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, she's not boring. It's just our personalities just don't really mesh that well. But I'm going to seduce her anyway. I'm going to seduce everyone in this town. I have priorities. I have people to see, people to sleep with, and people to break up with. That's my goal in this game. Should I give Harvey coffee? He does like coffee. It is like a third of our um, cash, though. Should I do it? He does like coffee. Uh, or I could get a recipe, but I don't. I don't have a kitchen though. Eggplant parmesan. What? Should I get eggplant parmesan and coffee, or just coffee? Oh, it's almost one o'clock. I better get the coffee and give it to Harvey. His clinic closes at three. I'm gonna give Harvey a gift, you know. You know, cause I want to be friends with him. I want him to like know who I am. Where is he? Where's Harvey? Oh, is he at um? The grocery store? I kind of know Harvey's schedule is closed on Wednesday. Well, where the fuck is this guy? Where's Harvey? Is he by the... The... The fountain? Where's Harvey? I bought coffee for him. Where is he? Oh my god, Harvey. Where's Harvey? Harvey? Oh my god, Harvey... Where is he? Oh my god. I don't know. I could talk to Elliot. I don't want to talk to Elliot. I mean, I should seduce Elliot first. Oh, I'll, I'll talk to Evelyn. I like Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Butterflies. Oh, wow. Cool. That's great. Hi, George. Alex is your grandson. Uh, cool. Great. How fun. Is he in there? He is. Ew. <laughs> He's working out. I don't like exercise. Hey. Well, who should I talk to? I mean, I should talk to Elliot, because I think we should seduce him first. I don't know what he likes, though. Um, he's an author, and um, I don't know how to put this politely, but um, he definitely has a way with words, and he likes to use a lot of words, and he just likes to, um, I don't know, he's fun, and he just, like, really likes to, you know pretend that life's like a soap opera or something he's just way too formal for me he speaks way too formal um whenever I talk to him I feel like I need a dictionary in my hand I do not know half of the shit that he's saying he used way too big. oh Sebastian I should talk to Sebastian I think Sebastian likes coffee I'll get Sebastian some coffee because ooh maybe we could battle it out like who will I marry Harvey or Sebastian thanks I like this oh great the ocean is best enjoyed alone don't you think no, I think we should enjoy it together. No, I don't agree with you. I think it would be fun to enjoy it together. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to fish here. Oh, I should go fishing. When it's raining, we should... You should fish, because I feel like all the real winds come out. I'm going to hang out with Sebastian and fish. Because, I don't know, would I marry Sebastian? Would I marry Harvey? Do I want to marry Abigail? Because I do like Maru, but I don't think Maru likes me. Seaweed, are you kidding me? Fine, whatever. Goodbye, Sebastian. Because I dated Maru in my main save. And she just... I don't know. I... Like, I think it was, like, probably her first relationship. But she just treated me like a friend the whole time. And, like, I would get her gifts. And she'd be like, oh my god, you're such a nice person. And I'm like, okay. Oh, he's gonna play catch. If you want a girl, I'll ask you to play catch. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? But oh, never mind. Oh my god. No, tell me what it means. Tell me what it means. What does it mean, huh? What does it mean? You think I can't uh, catch something? I can catch something. You know what? I have some seaweed. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I don't like Alex, but we have to seduce him. Wild horseradish. Yes, I will find some. I don't like Alex. I know that he has like a redemption arc. Um, I don't know his storyline, but I've been hearing from, like, people that play the game that, like, he seems like an asshole, but, like, he's actually a very nice guy, and it's just, you have to give him time to get to know him, and I was like, I don't want to give him time if he's rude to me from the start, but 
But I guess we will. We're gonna seduce him, I guess. But I don't know. He 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 has a tendency to put his foot in his mouth. Let's just say it like that. We're not gonna like, you know, whip him a new asshole. But he definitely um does not have a way with words. While Elliot does, Alex does not. I'm trying to feel exhausted. Can I eat a clam? No. What about this? Did I plant that? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. What can I eat? Can I eat a dandelion? A daffodil. I'll eat a daffodil. What does that do? Nothing. Okay, well then, I guess I have to go home. <laughs> it's only like 6 p.m. though. Oh, whatever. I'll just like go to bed early. Just do that. And then maybe seduce Elliot tomorrow morning. Because what would he like? I don't even know his schedule. Oh, Linus, Linus, Linus. A warm way is a pleasant way to get clean. Oh my god, that's so true, Linus. You want an acorn? You shouldn't really do much for me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I want Linus to be my friend. Are we friends yet? No. Oh, my closest friend is George so far. Well, we don't have any hosts, but he's on the highest list. Then, oh, and then Linus and then Sebastian. That's so strange. Like, i never been friends with George. I just, I don't talk to him. He's always inside watching TV. I don't know, maybe we could become friends with George. He seems like a nice guy. He's just a grumpy old man. You know, but, like, he's probably nice, I guess. <laughs> if we give him the chance. Oh, I should probably explore my farm. But this is Oh, that's Grandpa's Shrine. Let's go to Grandpa's Shrine. Can I even get there? How do I get there? Oh, through here? No, wait, how do I get there? There's like a little hidden passageway, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh, there. Okay, okay, cool. You just wait for my return at the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. Cool, great. Grandpa Shrine. Grandpa's dead, guys, just so you know. <laughs> In case if I... No, I told you. Yeah, he's dead. Sorry about that. I hope you didn't get too attached to him. But he died. He's Grandpa's not here anymore. I know, so sorry for your loss. Um, it sucks, but we will get through it. It's fine. He was old anyways, so, you know, he, he had a nice life. He had a farm. He did stuff. Um, yeah, but Grandpa's dead. So sad, but it's fine. We'll see him, I think. I think we're going to see him. Oh, wait, no, I need to sell that. I need to get more money so I can buy Harvey more coffee. I'm okay. I'm I'm really going to try to seduce the whole town because I know if I don't have a goal, I'm just going to get married to Harvey by the end of the first year. But I need to have a goal. I'm going to seduce the whole town. And then once I seduce all of them, I'm going to leave them for Harvey. Maybe, maybe. We'll see like cuz I do like Sebastian. I do like Maru too. So Maybe we'll see who's the best out of the three of them. I'll try not to have a bias, although I do. Um, because I'm married to Harvey, my main save, and he's a great guy. But I would try to give everyone a fair and equal chance. But Harvey is looking real good to me. I mean, he's he's a doctor. He has a mustache. He has glasses. I love glasses too. That's the thing. A mustache and glasses combo. Oh my god. Wow, so perfect. I just think everyone looks good in a pair of glasses. And that may, some people may not agree with me, but I feel like if you find the right pair of glasses, you're going to look like five times better. Because like frames your face. And you know, you need to find the right pair. You can't think that every pair is going to look good on everyone, because that's not true. You just have to find your right pair. And I just feel like glasses are great. Everyone should wear glasses, I feel like, in my opinion. Except for those fake glasses, because that's kind of stupid. Like, why? <laughs> but if you need glasses, you're thinking about glasses or contact, go with glasses. It's so easy. You just slip them on. You don't have to poke your eye. Because I tried wearing contacts, because in case of you don't know, my eyesight's not the greatest. I have glasses on. <laughs> and I tried wearing contacts. What's this? Three sardine. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, it's locked. Oh, that's right. It's like 7 a.m. But I did try to wear contacts because I got, what was it? I think it was like my junior, was it my sophomore or junior year of high school? 
I did get contact. I was like, I'm I'm just gonna try it out. And um, first of all, the the class that you take to learn how to put in contacts, horrifying. Oh my god, it is so scary. I'm just trying to talk to you, Shane. Do you want a dandelion? I really like this. Well, that's fine. It's fine. But the class that I don't know if this this is like every optometrist, but my optometrist, they're like, oh, if you want contacts, you have to take a class that we provide to show you how to put in the contact. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And they say, oh, it'll just take 30 minutes. It's not a long class. It's pretty easy. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, sure, whatever. And so I took it. And they say that it only takes 30 minutes. I was there for two hours <laughs> because I was freaking out the whole time. Because first of all, the optometrist, the like optometrist doctor, the eye doctor that was showing me how to put in the contacts, do you know, like, the, what was it? Not the Guinness, not like the Guinness World Record book, but the Ripley, the Ripley World Record book, like the weird talents thing. And you know, like, that one person that was in there that could, like, pop out their like pop out their eyeballs like not like they just open it really wide like they actually can like pop it out and like and if, if you ever saw the picture of it it's a little it's a little freaky you know it's like oh my god like you think it's gonna like pop out of their socket but it doesn't it, i don't know how they do it like muscles or something but the guy that taught me how to put in the contacts i swear to god he did the same thing <laughs> because and he did give me a warning. He was like, just so you know, it may look a little freaky how I'm going to show you how to do it. And he's like, and he was saying, like, I just want you to, like, make sure that you know what to do. And I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, first of all, you open your eye really wide. And he, and I think he said something. He's like, I've been doing it for so long that I don't need to use my, my fingers to open my eyes. He literally popped out his eye. And it was not just one eye, both of his eyes. He popped out both of his eyes. And he... The scariest thing was he kept talking to me while his eyes were popped out. <laughs> and I was trying so hard to focus on what he was saying. And but like the thing is when I when someone's talking to me, I look at their eyes, you know, to like connect with them, let them know that I'm not that I'm listening to them. And his eyes are like popped out and I was very uh I wasn't scared. Oh, what happened? The sparker went away. But it was a it was a, it was a little um a little jarring to see at like 9 a.m. <laughs> and, and like he was trying to, he was like, and you just put it in, like, you know, he's like, you balance it. Oh, I think I touched my, my microphone, sorry. He's like, you just balance it on, he used his middle finger. You just balance it on your middle finger and you just pop it in. And that's it, you're done. And I tried to do it. I kept dropping the contacts. And, like, I'm fine with touching my eye because when I was in elementary school, I would, like, touch my eye to freak people out I was that kid I'm sorry if I was definitely that kid in elementary school I'd be like hey watch this and I do something stupid just I don't know it's like I thought it was funny and oh it's sardine oh I should have took Willie's goal and and like I touched my eye before I'm totally fine with touching my eye and like I do makeup and everything like especially eye makeup so I'm totally fine with like you know doing tight lining and all the like getting close to my eye I'm fine with that but for some reason oh there's Elliot there's Elliot okay I'm gonna seduce him hello dude hello Elliot are you well uh I don't know I'm a little sniffly right now he's a dandelion you know like you're a fan of this I don't know what you want from me whatever but anyways <laughs> And I was there for, like, two hours, because I might as well do this. I already, the sardines are out in the ocean. I was there for two hours, mainly because, for some reason, I was getting very scared to put a contact in my eye. And also, the guy had his eyes popped out, I swear to God, for, like, the whole two hours, re-showing me how to put in a contact. And it was so, and they, and, you know, the class, like, you know, you have to show them that you're able to put in a contact and take out a contact successfully before you can leave. Like, they don't want you leaving. Oh, what happened? Oh, that's why I gave him something. They don't want you leaving without successfully putting in a contact and taking it out. Because then it's like, well, why do we give them contact? You don't know what they're doing. And so I was there for two hours, and I finally, just barely, <laughs> I finally got... Um, that's a hearing. I finally got my contact in and I finally took it out. I only did it with one eye because I remember him saying this to me that, you know, normally we want people to do it on both eyes, 
But you know how to do it on your one eye, so you can do it on your other one. You'll be fine. So let me go, because I was there for two hours. I think we both wanted to leave. And I just remember, like, I would get flashbacks sometimes of the guy popping out his eye and talking to me with his eyes popped out. It was so freaky. And I mean, and this is his job. And, like, he said to me, like, I do this all the time, you know. It may be a little bit freaky, but, like, it's the best way to show you to, like, understand how to put it in. But it was, I was not prepared for him to pop out his eye. I thought he was just going to, like, open it really wide and just be like, yeah, and, and that's it. But he didn't even use his hands. He just, like, popped out his eye. I don't know how he did it. I want to get that treasure box, but I can't. Okay. But he, I don't know how he did it, but he, he did it. <laughs> and it was so freaky. And then I typed. Don't I have? Oh, no, I only, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he want sardines or anchovies? Wait, Willie. Sardines, wait, sardines? What? Wait, sardines? Are you, oh my god, okay, I have to catch more sardines. I already caught one, but they want me to catch three with the gold. I had to catch two more. But, yeah. And then, my first time wearing the contacts out in public, my eyes were red the whole time. Because, <laughs> again, it took me, like, an hour to put in the contact. Because, like, I would get it in my eye, and then it would fall out. <laughs> and, I, and I kept poking my eyes so much that my eyes were red. And... <laughs> And, you know, it, yeah, like, it was, like, embarrassing. Because my friends saw that my eyes were red. They are like, oh, my God, what happened to you? And I'm like, I'm putting contact for the first time. <laughs> and I cannot lose this fish. And I never went back after I lost the fish. Oh, well. I never went back. I put in the contact once, and I just went back to my glasses. So I definitely know that I'm a glasses person and not a contacts person, which I'm totally fine with. Because I can just slip on my glasses and, you know, not have to poke my eye. But I think, you know, the guy, oh my god, the guy, the guy look, his eyes look just like the person in the Ripley. Um, isn't it Ripley? It's not the Guinness World Award. Is it the Guinness World Award? I'm sorry, my nose is a little runny. Is it the Guinness, I don't even know how to say the name, it makes me stutter. The Guinness, no. The world, no. Guinness World Record. Isn't that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, the Guinness, the Guinness Book of World Records. That's what it's called. <laughs> I don't know if it was in, like, the Ripley Weird uh, Talent one. I don't know what the Ripley one's called either. But, like, it's the Ripley one or if it was in the Guinness Book of World Records. I have no idea. But I just remember the picture of the person with their eyes popped out. I was like, oh, my God. And then, I was, like, in elementary school when I first saw it, too. And then I saw it again when I went to my optometrist, when I was learning how to put in my contacts. It was, oh, my God, it was, I was just so embarrassed the whole time and scared and confused. And I think the guy that was showing me how to put in the contact was embarrassed, too, because he had his eyes popped out for, like, two hours straight. <laughs> and I don't think he's normally used to that, because he said to me, like, it's really easy, just to half, like, half an hour at most. And I, you know, I proved him wrong. I was, <laughs> I was there for two <laughs> I think the reason why I was there for the whole time was because I was getting really freaked out by the fact that his eyes were popped out. And I think maybe that's why I kept messing up. And I think, well, that's not true, because I, I was also messing up with the contact. I wasn't putting it right on my eyes. But, um, oh, can I give you this stuff now? Willie! The sighting is an exciting character. If you think they're always hiding in the most peculiar places, yeah, I guess. Huge reward. I'm rich! I'm rich! Give me the money. I can buy Harvey coffee. Oh, no, I can't. My my inventory is full. Oh, my God. But it was insane. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, it's cool. I, I guess it's cool. It's like a nice little party trick, I guess, to have to, like, be able to pop out your... I don't know. I mean, both of my thumbs are double-jointed, and it, that freaks people out, too. But I love showing people, like, every time, where they're like, do you have, like, a weird talent? I'm like, yeah, my thumbs are double-jointed. I can text really fast from it. And and it's true. Like, I would send, like, a paragraph within a minute just by texting. 
Uh, there'll be like a lot of typos, but I text really fast. <laughs> and um, so like, I mean, I freak people out when I do that, but like, this is eye stuff. I, I hate anything to do with the eyes. I can't watch Kill Bill. Oh, my inventory is full. I can't watch Kill Bill. Is it Kill Bill 1 or Kill Bill 2? How many Kill Bills were there? Was there like three? I think it was the second Kill Bill. Where I'm um, spoiler alert if you haven't watched it. Um, the person. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't. I don't know if they ever said her name. Well, they did, but I forgot about it. But it was um, Uma Thurman. Isn't that her name? Uma Thurman. Yeah, it is. Uma. Th I think it's Uma Thurman. Fallout Boy made a song with her name in it. I think it's Uma Thurman. <laughs> but um. And there was a scene in the movie where, you know, because it's, like, a fighting movie action and, like, all of that. And um, they're, like, pretty big on, like, but, like, it's, like, 80s and 90s gore. So it's not, like, super, super realistic bloody gore. Like, you see someone's liver get thrown out and it's, like, very realistic and HD and shit like that. It's, like, 80s and 90s gore. So it's, like, kind of, like, a little bit slapstick and like a little cheesy but they do have like a lot of blood in that movie because there was that one scene I think in the first movie where they had it in black and white and they said that they had it had that scene in black and white because they were so I already gave him a gift oh that's why I did it well I'll give Pam a beer she looks weird and the scene was in black and white because they used so much fake blood that they were like afraid that um people would get sick or freaked out by it and, but there's a scene in Kill Bill, I think Kill Bill 2, where she was going after this assassin, I think was sent to kill, no, no, wait, I think the assassin killed her husband, I have no idea, I watched Kill Bill with Leslie and Jordan, because it's like Jordan's favorite film, or like one of her favorite films, and... I was kind of paying attention, but then, like, I was also very confused the whole time. But there was, like, this assassin that was going after Uma Thurman, I think. And there was, like, some some rift between them. I think the assassin killed her hus Uma Thurman's husband. And I'm just going to go to bed now. And there was a scene where she was going after the assassin. And the assassin had an eye patch because she lost one of her eyes. I don't think Uma Thurman took out her eye. But she lost her eye due to, like, some sort of attack or, like, some fight that she got in. Um, and in the scene, she comes in. Uma Thurman comes in to confront the assassin. And they got into a fight and everything. And Uma Thurman whipped out her eyeball. Like, whipped out like, her last eyeball. And so she, she was blind now. And... She threw the eye, I think she threw the eyeball on the ground and stepped on it. So, like, it, you know, it was broken. And I could not watch that scene. First of all, just taking out the eyeball. And, like, yeah, it was, like, an old movie. They don't have, like, the best graphics or, like, gory scenes, stuff like that. So, it wasn't, like, super realistic, but it was just a thought. I feel, I, I, I get weird with eyeball stuff. I really do. And so, maybe that's why I can't wear contacts. Because, um, so if I want to wear, like, wear an outfit and not wear my glasses, I just go with nothing in my eyes. I just walk around uh, kind of blind. <laughs> I've done it before. Where, um, when I was with Zulima, we were in Toronto. Oh, I need to give Moni a gift. Oh, God damn it. I need to give her gifts. Well, I don't know if I can't give her a gift. What's this? A team members have removed the landslide caused by a drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that a drilling operation is entirely legal. Yeah, right, Morris. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may cause. As always, we value your continued support and paid patron. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to say that word. Morris, whatever, Morris. So wait, they did something? Drilling operation near the mountain lake. I have no idea what they're talking about. Whatever, Morris. Oh, my turnips! No, my parsnips! Don't eat a parsnip, that's money! Oh my gosh, my parsnips! We did it! We, we did it! 
We have 15 parsnips. Sell that. Wait, do I have to give it to Mayor Lewis? Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Okay, cool. Raising animals, put a coop. Getting started. Give me money. Cool. All right, so then I could just sell it. And I want to give Willie that fish because I don't know if Willie gives us more money if we sell it through him or if we get more money from the drop box. I have no idea. But I'm going to give it to him because I want to be friends with him, you know? Can I give money a gift today? No, I can't. I can't give Sebastian a gift. Can I give Harvey a gift? <gasps> I can. Oh my gosh. I need to talk to Harvey. I love Harvey. Okay, so I need to... What do I need to do? Find me level one, make a scarecrow, build a coop. Cool. Okay, so we should check out to see what we need to do for the coop. Um, I want to sell the fish. I think Willie's uh, fish shop opens at 8. I'm not so sure. But yeah. I can't wear contacts. I can't do anything with eyeballs. Although I'm fine with doing eye makeup, like tight lining and all that stuff. I'm totally fine with doing that, but that's the only eye stuff that I'm fine with. And also, I just feel like how I was raised in a weird time. <laughs> I'm going to bring up another thing that you guys may or may not know, but I definitely remember this. Do you remember when there was that eyeball licking trend? Was it like 2014 or 2015? It was in high school. I think it was freshman year. Hey, is he not going to go in? I want to sell you my fish. It's locked. Oh, 9 a.m. Okay, fine, whatever. I'll just wait out here. Do you remember that eyeball licking trend? I know I did not make that up. I know it's real. It was like, was it 2014 or 15? It couldn't have been 2016. But it was like that eyeball licking trend where people would lick each other's eyeballs for some damn reason. I do not know why they did that. Like, that's not romantic. That's not even remotely hot. <laughs> but they would lick each other's eye eyeballs. And, oh, I, I missed it. And there were videos all over YouTube about it. Of people, like, encouraging other people to lick <laughs> their boyfriend or girlfriend, their partner's eyeballs. Uh, uh, it was, like, I mean, like, I was also, like... Like, I remember the Tide Pod Challenge, but I feel like the Tide Pod Challenge happened when, I think when I was leaving high school. So it wasn't so much, like, my generation's weird challenge. I think my generation's weird, although, like, I am. I'm, like, on the cups of, like, millennial and Gen Z. I, no one knows what generation, really, I fall in, so I just kind of, like, in, in both. But I feel like, the weirdest challenge that defined my generation is the eyeball licking challenge. Um, the cinnamon challenge, but the cinnamon challenge is not as weird as the eyeball licking challenge. And also, don't do it. <laughs> if anyone's watching, they're like, huh, don't do it because you will get pink eye. Not that I'm saying it from personal experience because I never did the eyeball licking challenge, but it was like all over the news, just like with the Tide Pod challenge. But people were saying, like, don't do it. You know, there's a lot of health risk, like, a lot of bad health stuff if you do it. And I think what happened, people got, like, pink eye. Like, pink eye was a big cock. Go, duh, because you're putting your tongue or someone's eyeball. You freak. What's wrong with you? <laughs> but um, I think it was pink eye. I don't think, I don't think there was, like, I think they mentioned, like, like eye damage as well, depending on, like, <laughs> depending on, like, how hard you're licking, I guess. It could, like, do eyeball damage, too. But, um, oh, that's why I need to buy seeds. Well, how much is this? Two grand. I'm not made of money. Uh, Pierre, let's get more parsnips. Let's do five. Oh, potatoes. I love potatoes. Let's do this. I know that um, this will keep growing stuff, so let's do that. Like, this will keep regrowing. But I don't know why the trend started or, like, how it started. Or I don't really know the origin stories. But you would just lick someone's eyeball. And I don't know why you would do it. I don't know if it's, like, like the... the Sent, the, the act of doing it is... I have no idea. I never partook in it. I... Kind of partook in the cinnamon challenge, but I accidentally inhaled it before I ate it, and that knocked me out. 
I mean, it didn't knock me out, knock me out, but like it really messed my nose up. So um, don't do that either. <laughs> but um, I do remember the eyeball licking challenge. And it was like, it was very short lived. I think it only like went on for like maybe a year. Well, the cinnamon challenge kind of like went on for like maybe like a year and a half or maybe two years. But does anyone else remember that trend? I think I was because <laughs> I sometimes think about it. Like it just randomly popped up in my head where it's like, oh my God, do you remember when people licked eyeballs? Ugh, what a weird time that was. I think it was like 2014, 2015. It was very, it was very strange. Um, I think that's also why I don't, like eyes anything to do with eyes like poking eyes um well I used to touch my eye when I was in elementary school but just thinking about eye stuff it's just I think it's because of the time that I lived in it messed up my <laughs> oh what's happening oh that's right the community center we have to do this we have to do this uh, hello Mel Lewis What's happening? What an eyesore. Eyes! See, I'm telling you, this is a sign. <laughs> I was talking about uh, contacts, the guy popping his eye out, the eyeball looking challenge, and now eyesore. Eyesore building. <laughs> oh, it's a Pelican Town. See, that's the thing. The town is called Pelican Town, not Stardew Valley. I never understood why. But, um... Is that like the counties? I have no idea. I thought the town was called Stardew Valley, but apparently it's Pelican Town. But I don't see any pelicans. Do you see pelicans? I don't see any pelicans around here. This is false advertisement. I did not listen to what he said because I don't care for Mayor Lewis. <laughs> you do sound like an old Well, I mean, you're not that old and a fool. You are a fool, but... <laughs> No, don't, don't, don't sell it. We're, we're not going to do the Jodo Mart um, route. Jo Joja, not Joja. <laughs> the Joja, Joja, Joja Mart. We're not doing the Joja Mart route, cause you could, you can either do the challenges in the community center to restore it, or you can buy a Joja, Joja, not Jojo, Joja Mart, Joja. I did say Joja. <laughs> a Joja Mart membership, and just pay money to fix the community center but if you go down the membership route they bold it so it's really not you're not fixing it up i don't think but we're not doing that because we're gonna do the goal base where we had to forage for stuff and then that's how we get the community center but i saw see i knew there was a reason why i was talking about eyes <laughs> but it's weird oh my god i don't understand the I oh my god it's just, i'm gonna have a nightmare about it tonight <laughs> But that was one of the weirdest challenges I remember. Because we have... Well, th there were, like, really... Like, other weird challenges, but they're, like, really inappropriate and can be very triggering, so I'm not going to bring up those challenges. But the eyeball-looking one, so weird. And there were other, like, really bad ones, like, extremely harmful ones. But I remember the cinnamon challenge the most. And then the Tide Pod challenge happened, I think, in my senior year of high school. And I obviously didn't do that because um, I knew not to eat Tide Pod. I just wanted to pop one. I always wanted to pop a Tide Pod because it's like, it's like, like, this like little, it looks like a stress ball. So like you want to squeeze it and then the liquid comes out. And also, oh, what's the other one? The, um, the little cascade, like the dishwasher pods, except those are hard. They don't have liquid. It's just like the... Powder. <laughs> just like a little dish powder. Oh yeah, that's right. You see like little sprites pop up. Yeah, head home, head home, have some lunch. I don't like that man. Oh, you didn't hear anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep it unlocked, keep it unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine, it's fine. I'll lock it up, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> Strange. Now we have to, yeah, we're gonna come back and explore the building at night, and then we'll be able to see the wizard. The wizard. Now, unlike Legend of Zelda, I like the wizard in this game. I don't like the wizards in Legend of Zelda, but I like the wizard in Stardew Valley, for sure. 
but but yeah, the Cascade. I never opened one of those. I did open a Tide Pod when I was in college because I that was <laughs> because I bought my own Tide Pods in college because our dorm my dorm situation was like a little bit different. Um, it was like a dorm hall, but it was kind of like a studio apartment that you shared between with two people. So, um, and then of course we have like a laundry room, of course. We needed a laundry room. So I would have to like buy Tide Pods to do laundry because they didn't provide detergent or Tide Pods for the students. You had to get your own. So I was able to finally fulfill my dreams of popping open a Tide Pod. It was very... It, it was definitely worth it. It was so great. I loved it. But I never got to pop open one of those Cascade pods. So we didn't have dishwashers in my dorm. It was like a kitchen net in my dorm. So it was like we had a stovetop, a microwave, and like a fridge. And But we didn't have like an oven. It didn't have a dishwasher. If you wanted to use an oven, they had a communal kitchen for that. But, um... So they didn't have a dishwasher. There was no point for me to like buy Cascade pods. But I always wanted to open one up because it's like a Tide Pod, but hard. I just want to know. I just want to know. What does it feel like? <laughs> Is it like sand? Is it? And then they have like that little gel thing in the middle. It's like liquidy gel or like more like jello gel. I need to know. I need to know. Maybe I would take one from my kitchen and open up later. <laughs> Because I really want to know, because, like, the Tide Pod, I, I got to know what a Tide Pod is like. It's just, like, dish detergent. Well, not dish detergent. It's, um, like, laundry detergent. Just, like, liquidy. And just, mm. But it was fun to pop open. But, um, oh, I need to redo that bridge. I want to redo that bridge, because then I can, like, get this stuff over there and sell them. I need 300 pieces of wood. Maybe I'll do that now. I already planted the, um, stuff. Yeah, I want to rip open one of the Cascade Ponds. Pods, not ponds. <laughs> because I really want to know, is it Sandy? Oh, I'll talk to you. Hello. Wait, what? What did you say? Oh, yeah, I used to live in a city. Yeah. All right, by Alex. Sam? No, Sam. Oh, what happened? Rat problem. I'll investigate that later. But, yeah, I always want to know, is it Sandy? Is it, like, gr gritty, like, pebble-like? Well, I mean, I guess sand... Is sand kind of like rocks? Is it, like, rock... No. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? I don't know what sand is. Is it glass shards? No, it's not glass shards. I have no idea. Is it sandy? Is it more, like, pebbly rock? Like, gritty? Like, what is it? I need to know. Maybe I'll cut one open tomorrow. <laughs> If, 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 if we're not low on it, you know, I don't want to, like, if we have, like, only one cascade pod left, I'm, not, I'm obviously not going to cut, cut open that one, but I want to know what it's like. Ooh, a pine cone. I should clean up, I should clean up my farm. Why am I cutting down these trees? I need to clean up my farm. Okay, I'm going to go to my farm now and clean it up. I don't know why I'm out here cutting down the trees. That's, that's not good. I do need to be friends with money, though, but I can't give it more gifts. Oh, I do need to build a coop. I need to build so much stuff. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Guess I could... No, I need to clear off more of the front, though. Yeah, it was so strange. And then, oh, I, I need to seduce Elliot. I need to seduce so many people. Do I have any friends yet? Do I have friends yet? No. <laughs> I have no friends. My closest friend so far is George. We have no hearts. Oh my god, I want to be friends with Linus. I want to be friends with Linus. Because Linus is a really nice guy. He gives me free food. I love free food. I won't reject free food. That's why I love going to Costco. I don't have my own membership. I use my friends. But <gasps> I can I can donate that. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. I need to donate that. That's right, I need to donate stuff for um, 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 uh, the museum. <laughs> I need to donate stuff for the museum. Okay, sell that. I'm gonna get so much money from those parsnips. Oh, I'm gonna be rich. Mayor Lewis better watch out. Ooh, journal entry. I found an artifact. Yeah, but the museum's closing. It closes at 6. 
I'll visit him later. Oh, I should go to the community center now. I won't be able to take down these because I need to um, upgrade my axe in order to do that. I like to clear out everything first and then plant trees where I want to plant them. Because how am I going to decorate this farm? I mean, I was looking up some, um, some, ooh, oh, my energy's going low. I was looking up some inspiration on Pinterest on how to decorate the forest layout farms. And I definitely found some very cool, um, let's see, what's the word? Inspo, inspiration pictures. And where am I going? Oh, right, the community center. Oh my god, my memory's so bad right now. <laughs> and so I looked up pictures on how to decorate my farm, but it's going to cost a lot of money. But I have an idea. Because in my main farm, I went for more like an autumn type of route. Oh no, I have to come back at night, don't I? Wait, what do you want me to do? Rat problem. Go around the community center. Oh, do I need to like read a note? No, what do I do? What do I do? I think I, I look at this, right? No. Do I need to come back at night? Oh, do I need to go in a room? Or oh, maybe I have to go in a room. Because something happened. Something pops up. This thing, that's right. Yeah, I can't read that. Can't read that. So then, does that... Oh, yeah, okay, so that counts. Okay, it doesn't give me, like, a little update for it, though. Alright, yeah, can't read that. Do I need to come back in again? No. Okay, so there's no cutscene. I thought there was a cutscene for it, though. Maybe I just forgot. I'm gonna seduce Elliot. Because, no, I, I need to make a list of who, because I don't like Alex. No. Yes, Alex. I keep getting Alex and Sam mixed up. Sam's the blonde with the Dragon Ball Z hair. Alex is a boring football guy. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna marry Alex. I know nothing about sports. And I will support his dreams, but I would rather support it from afar. I don't want to be his wife. <laughs> And then, but then do I want to go for the guys first? And then maybe I'll go for the guys first and then go for the bachelorettes. Uh, because I, I seduced to, well, I got really close with Abigail because Abigail and I, I wanted to be friends with her. So I did get her to like the eight height, uh, the eight height level with her, but I never dated her. So, I mean, I do know three of the bachelorettes, at least like their storylines. And then for the bachelors, I just know two. So, should I start with the bachelors and then go to the bachelors? Maybe I could do that. Oh, I got level one, level one of farming. Okay, great, cool. Now I can make a skill crow. I'll have to do that. The crows will eat my crops. Oh my god, I don't want them to eat my crops. Wait, spring? Is this spring? I thought it was summer. <laughs> oh, that's right, we do start in the spring. Oh my god, I got mail. You saw, my, oh, my sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest in the stone tower. I may have information about your concerning rat problem. I do not know how to say his name. M. Rasmodius? M. Rasmodius? Ras Rasmodius? 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 Ras the wizard. I'm just going to call him the wizard. I think it's Rasmodius. Rasmodius? Because there's only one O. Rasmodius? M. Rasmodius. I always called him the wizard. And I haven't been friends with him either. Like, because he's like a little, he never leaves his tower. And I kind of know what he liked, but then again, he like surprises me sometimes. So like his, and I, I don't like Googling like what they like, because I kind of want to find out for myself, but then sometimes I'm, you know, I'm a little bit of a cheater, and then I do just end up Googling stuff. I, I didn't Google what he likes. I know that he likes Amethyst, and that's in the mines. Oh, we should go to the mines. Oh, it rained, so we, we could have went to the mines. Oh, what happened? Meet the wizard. I am going to meet the wizard. Wait, oh, I'm supposed to make a scarecrow. How do I make a scarecrow? Full fiber. Oh, I have that. Should I just make the skirt coat? I'll make a skirt coat. <laughs> I'll just make a skirt coat. It won't be that long. Yeah, no, I should make a skirt coat first. Because then, like, the, um, the birds. No, not the birds. The crows. 
they eat it. Hey, let's see. It's 9.40 now. Now, for Stardew Valley, I really have to watch myself because I could just keep on playing and then not know that <laughs> is that like I'm past my stream time. So it is 10.40 right now. I could go for 10 or 10.30. I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I want to see the wizard. Let's see the wizard for. Well, I need to make something. I need to make this. I don't have it. Coal. Oh, that's what I need. Duh. I'm such an idiot. Coal. I need coal. That. Cool. Great. 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 So I'll probably go. Hmm. Should I go for ten thirty or should I go for ten? I don't know, I kind of want to, I feel like we're just getting started though, so maybe we'll, I'll go for 10.30, because I feel like we're, we're just starting up, it's only the sixth day, and, oh, I didn't get the little challenge from Mary Lewis yet, I think I'm going to get it, like, uh, the 14th day, because we at least need that challenge, oh, I need, I need to be friends with Marnie, but I have nothing to give her, oh, right, yeah, give me money, I love money. Should I talk to the villagers? I want to talk to the wizard first. I need to seduce the villagers. What would Elliot like? I don't know Elliot's schedule. But I do know that people say that he's kind of hard to seduce. Because if you're not friends with him, you can't see him that often. Because he's normally always in his house. But he's like either on the beach or in his house. But then, oh, no, tonight. Oh, the wizard. <laughs> Tonight is Saturday in the game, so he'll be at the bar, so I'll just go to the bar and give him a gift. Come in. I'm already in. <laughs> the wizard. I like the wizard. I like his hair. He has cool hair. Rasmadius. I am Rasmadius. Seeker of the Arcane? Truth? I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word either. Mid it looks like me diary, but I don't think it's me diary. Metary? Metary? Like, medium? I don't know. Metary? Me I don't think it's me diary. Metary between physical and ethereal. ethereal. This guy is making me stutter. I don't like his vocab. <laughs> I don't like his addiction. Master of the seven elementals. I can say that. Keeper of the sacred chat. You get the point. I do get the point, wizard. Come on. Come on. And you, DJ. Oh, they know my name. Hello, I'm DJ. Nice to meet you. Me Dieri? Really, Leslie? Me Dieri? Me Dieri? Dieri? Me Dieri? That makes sense. Like the mediator. <laughs> me Dieri. <laughs> me Dieri. Me Dieri. Me Dieri. Cool, great. What was the other one? The arcane? Like A-R-C-A-N-E? How do you say that? Like arcane? Archon? I don't know. Oh, he wants to show me something. Is it, is it archon or arcane? I feel like arcane sounds a little too weird. Behold. Ah, that thing. Yes, that's some... The sprite. I think it's called a sprite. Oh, they're going to tell us. You've seen one of these before, haven't you? Yes, I did. Let's see. They call themselves... Oh, the... Junimos? Ju Junimos? Junimos? I think it's Junimos. Junimos? Maybe Junimos? I don't know. It's like the pronunciation. Like, which syllable do I stress more? I don't know. Arcane. I think it is arcane. I think. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense, because it's literally just A-R-C-A-N-E, so I would be arcane. But I did not know mediary. Mediary. That one threw me through a loop. <laughs> Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Well, I mean, they could be shy. You never know. I'm a little shy. You know, I don't like talking to people, but I do talk to people. I'm not sure why they moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Cool, cool, cool. They don't bite, right? I hope they don't bite. I hope they don't have teeth. Oh my god, speaking of teeth. 
Um, goose, geese. I'm scared of them. Well, they don't have teeth on their tongues, but they have cartilage that's high enough that kind of feels like teeth. So scary. I got chased by one. Me and Leslie got chased by one. <laughs> like, like a few years ago. <laughs> I was doing an art project and I wanted to um, take pictures in a forest. And I guess we got too close to a like a geese nest, and they started chasing Leslie and I. <laughs> and I felt bad for Leslie because, because I just like took off without her. <laughs> I was not going to get bit by one of them because I know they have like cartilage on their tongues, and that would oh he flew away. All right, goodbye the wizard. And I know like they would like really fuck you up with like, those cartilage because. They, they, like, grab you and then take their, like, tongue. Like, here's their tongue. And be like, nye, 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 and, like, slice your leg or something. I don't know. I don't want to find out. <laughs> well, language is obscure, but I'll be able to decipher it. What is it? We, the Junimos, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, and you will see the true nature of the skull. Oh, cool. I don't know if I'm one with the forest. One with the forest, what do they mean? Um, I don't know. It, like, a tune with nature, sniff, sniff. <gasps> Does it smell like something? Did they spray some perfume on the letter? You know, give you, like, a little float, bring you back in for more? Aha, did they spray perfume? Come here. What is it? Oh, did he throw the letter in there? Oh, I thought they sprayed the letter with perfume. I'm trying to flirt with the wizard. You never know. <laughs> My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? I don't know, my nose is kind of messed up right now. <laughs> Here, drink up. Let's the essence of the forest permeate. I think it's permeate. Low battery. Well, I'll, I'll be finished in like half an hour. Permeate. I'm pretty sure it's permeate. Permeate. Like, let it enter your mind. Like, permeate I don't know <laughs> let it permeate your body or like enter let it permeate like enter your body maybe uh, this wizard is just like Elliot they're using words that I am not aware of oh geez oh I'm dancing oh no oh is my stomach hurting oh the forest the forest is permeating my body <laughs> oh a tree I forgot about this cutscene. This cutscene's like a little weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's kind of cool. You have to like be one with nature for this cutscene, I guess. Ooh, tease. Oh, what was that flash? I gained the power of the forest magic. I can read those scrolls. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Oh, he kicked me out. What if I want to come back in? I want to talk to you. Hello. Hi, wizard. You, I predicted your arrival a long time ago. Thank you for calling me young. <laughs> Thank you. I guess my snail mucus is working. <laughs> Sweet. What was I going to do? Oh, that's right. I wanted to meet Elliot, but that's like at the bar later. So <gasps> could I meet Harvey? Should I go see what Harvey's doing? He could be at his office. I don't want Harvey. Like, I don't want to gush over him. You know, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't want Harvey to know that I have a crush on him. Because that means I have to be vulnerable. And I don't like being vulnerable. Especially with someone that I really care about. Which probably sounds stupid. Like, what do you mean? Wouldn't you want to be like you're more comfortable with them? No, because then if they, I have this weird trust issue where it's like I don't want them to think that they have control over me, but therefore I act like a bitch. <laughs> but I don't want to be a bitch to Harvey. Like you know, I want to be nice to him. Where is he? You know, he's a doctor. He's the only doctor in town. Where are you? Is he in the chair shop? He does like going grocery shopping. No, where's Harvey? Harvey. Where is he? This Alex. I want to talk to Alex. Because that's, that's the thing. I don't care about Elliot. So I'm totally fine with getting in a relationship with Elliot. Because if he doesn't like me, what if I didn't like you either? 
<laughs> I mean, that's probably not good. But, like, I'm trying to seduce the whole town. So, like, obviously, I wouldn't do this in real life. I wouldn't try to seduce my whole town in real life. But it's a game. And I'm trying to get all of the stories and cutscenes so I kind of know, like, what's all happening. Is he over here? Where's Harvey? But, it's like, with Harvey, I care about him. So, if I do something that he doesn't like, I'll be crushed. I'll be so sad. So, I'll start with Harvey. I, kinda wanna, I don't want to play hard to get. I just don't want to fling myself at him, you know? Oh, I have an urge to go shopping. Me too. I love shopping. I love shopping. I wish there was a mall here too. Okay, do you want to talk to me? Okay, fine. Jesus. I wanted to talk to him more. Oh, it's locked. It's not. It's only, it's only 10 minutes. Let me in. 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 Okay, cool. It's 10, 12 now. <gasps> Gus, I'm here, Gus. I'm gonna sit at the bed. But see, that's the thing. I don't care about Elliot that much. I mean, like, he's cool. We can be friends. But, like, if he's... If, like, I get vulnerable with him, if I get vulnerable with him, and then I book up with him, I wouldn't be that concerned. You know, because I'd be like, well, I didn't care that much about him anyways. So, whatever. But, like, with Harvey, it's like, everything's on the line. <laughs> I, I take it way too far. When it comes to Harvey, oh, Sebastian likes pizza. And see, that's another thing with Sebastian. I don't want Sebastian to know that I like him, you know? I want to just fly under the radar. Oh, I didn't get the pizza. <gasps> oh. My inventory's full. Oh, I need to donate the thing. I'm going to donate the thing and then get pizza later. But that's the thing. Because Sebastian and Harvey are the bachelors. You know, I'm, I'm really going to take it slow with them. Because I don't want to rush into it and ruin something. But, like, with the other guys, I don't really care about them. I'll rush into it. I don't really care. Ew, Mayor Lewis. But, oh, oh that's right. It's a cutscene. And then with the Bachelorette, um, maybe, like, Penny and Mo and Abigail, I would want to take things slow with them because I really like them. But the other, what, there's, like, six others? No, three others. With them, I don't really care that much. I mean, Haley. I don't think I want to be friends with Haley. I, I don't I don't know. I'd rather just be acquaintances with Haley. And then Leah. I mean, Leah's cool. Yeah, I found something. Here you go. Have that. Leah's cool. I'll be friends with her. Yeah, sure. Whatever. And who else? Oh, Emily. Is it Emily? Yeah, I think it's Emily. Emily's cool. I'll be friends with her, too. But I wouldn't want to take things slow because it's like, I'll just rest through it. I don't really care. <laughs> but, like, with Harvey, Sebastian, Maru... Penny and Abigail, I don't want to mess anything up. Like, they're on the top of my list. Those are my top five. Is it five? Yes, it is. I didn't know if I counted wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'll donate you. I'll donate stuff. Yeah, I'll donate some things that I find. Yeah, I'll donate. Wait, did I give him the thing right now? Or is this still in my pocket? Did I give that to you? I didn't. It's still in my pocket. Donate. Harvey's here! <laughs> oh, let me, let me, no, 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 let me donate this horseshoe and let me talk to Harvey. Let me talk to Harvey. I have coffee for him. Let me donate this horseshoe. <gasps> Did I break it? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, donate. Where should I put it? I'll put it right here. Whatever. <gasps> Harvey, 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 Again, I'm, I don't want him, I'm trying to play it cool with him your favorite stuff it's like i read your mind oh i know it's so crazy that i know what you like I, I know that you like pickles too and you like wine can i do anything for you um yes i have a list of like uh, number one i would take care okay well then never mind i guess i'm not gonna tell you my list <laughs> <laughs> oh why am i talking to him i uh, sense that you've been spending some time in the old community center good to know oh is he crying mm, whatever <laughs> Oh, I don't have any rewards? Alright, cool. Alright, bye. Mayor Lewis. I don't know. I don't really, I don't really care for Mayor Lewis that much. Um, I did water my plants. Yeah, I did. I watered them. Okay, so... And then, hmm... Oh, I want to... No. I'm not going to try to find Elliot now. I'll find him um at the saloon, like, at 7. I think they go at 7 o'clock or something. But, um... Oh, Shane. Let me talk to Shane. Although, he doesn't want to talk to me. I talk to him though. Why are you bothering me? I don't know, I mean, I'm just trying to be nice. Jesus Christ. 
Jeez. Abigail! The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. I wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. Can you catch frogs in the game? I don't think I ever caught one. Oh, I need to get this. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Thank you. Oh, I should also look up what the coop's like. But let me get Shane a pizza. Because he likes... Wait, can I even give him gifts right now? No oh, yes, I can. Cool, cool, cool. I might get him a pizza. I think he likes pizza. Because... I mean, Shane's also, like, in my top three for- Is he in my top three? Yeah, why am I going to hide these? Wait. I mean, he's in my top three for The Bachelors, but, like, for him, I don't want to marry him. I just want to be his friend, you know? But, um, like, he's cool and all. He has a pretty sad backstory. Oh, it's his favorite! Oh, I didn't even know. I, I just- I knew that he liked it, but I didn't know that he loved it. Um, okay, cool. So then I'm gonna go to Robin's place because I need to build a coop. I need to see, like, how much that's gonna cost. Because I do like Shane, but, like, I feel like Shane's kind of, like, my situation with Abigail. It's like, I really do like them. I like hanging out with them. But not, like, in a marriage way. Like, I just want to be friends with them. Like, I just want to hang out with them. And, oh, hi, Demetrius. Let's see if the compound... Oh, you're using way too advanced vocabulary. Sorry, you're just pondering data. Yeah, go ponder, and I'm just going to leave, because I do not know what he's saying to me. Good lord. Oh, yes. Construct fine building. 4,000. All right, well, no, I can't do that. <laughs> I need to start saving money, I guess, and not spend it willy-nilly. Um, that's cool, I guess. Have a horse fetish. Oh. Can I at least talk to you, though? I'm happy by myself. Linus! I don't need new friends. Linus! I want to be friends with you! Jesus, Linus. I want Linus to be my friend. But that, oh, that's another thing that I was thinking. Because, um... You can marry people in Shadu Valley, and then you can also divorce them. So it's not like you marry one person, you're stuck with them. But the divorce is like 65,000 gold coins. Oops, I almost forgot that horse that is. Because I did think about, should I marry everyone in Stardew Valley? Because in Stardew Valley, with the dating candidates, um you can get up to eight hearts with them just by like being their friends. And then when you date them, you can get up to ten hearts. Now ten hearts is like a little cutscene, like you know, like a little storyline there. And then when you marry them, you get fourteen hearts. And there's like two cutscenes when you marry them that you can earn. And I was thinking, should I marry everyone? Or should I just date them? Because if I marry all of them, I'm going to need a lot of money. <laughs> but then I could, like, get all of the cutscenes. And, I mean, I could just Google it. They have the cutscenes on YouTube. But I just didn't know if, like, maybe marrying all of them. Maybe I'll marry the ones that I, like, my top five. And then, yeah, I'll just do that instead of marrying everyone. Because I don't really want to be married to Alex. And... And I don't want to be married to, um, who else? Haley? I don't know. I know that she gets nice when you get to know her, but it's just, like, I don't know if I want to get married to her, you know? But, like, maybe my top five, I can get married to them. Oh, there's Marnie. I need to be friends with Marnie, but I can't give her a gift right now, right? I can't give her a gift. Marnie? Yeah, no, I can't give her a gift. Whatever. I don't want to give her a gift anyway. I don't like Marnie. <laughs> But I have to like her. I have to get to two hearts. Because I need to get something from her. So like I have to be friends with her. But. Oh that's right. I have to do 300 pieces of wood for this bridge. I need to get those things. There's money. I, I, I want to sell them. Okay let's see. There's nothing here is there? Nothing. I will do that. I was gonna give Elliot a seashell, but um, I guess not. Willie, oh, I already talked to him. <laughs> I do like Willie too. Willie's pretty cool. Um, oh, 
Maybe I can find something in the trash and give it to Elliot. I just hope no one sees me. I hope Elliot doesn't see me digging through the trash to get him a gift. But I could buy him something. But, like, there's children here. Uh, okay, fine. I'll, I'll go through Mayor Lewis's trash before um I go through those two trash cans. And I mean the actual trash cans, not the kids. <laughs> because the kids in Stony Valley are really nice. Like, there's only two of them, Jeff and Vincent. And they're really nice kids. Like, they're, they're actually, well, I smell like grass. Well, I mean, they are nice, but they're kids. They say stupid stuff, you know? Oh, your dad. That's right. Oh, that's right. His dad's in the military. Because you, like, Jas and Vincent, obviously, they were raised to be somewhat decent people. Like, you know, like, they, they say it's stupid shit, but they are a kid. But, you know, at least they're not, like, running around and, like, running into me and, like, being, like, little demons. So, you know, I mean, they're all right. So, I'm not going to trash talk the kids in Stardew Valley as much as I did in Legend of Zelda. But in Legend of Zelda, they're, like, running around. They're kind of, like, I don't know about you, but when a kid starts running, I get freaked out. I'm like, why are you running? What's happening? And they're just running because they like to run. It's like, I don't understand that. Oh, not everyone's in here yet. Okay, well, then I'll talk to people. You know how you end up in this time? No, oh, okay. Clint kind of has, like, a sad little thing going on. He has a crush on Emily. Spoiler alert. Well, not really spoiler alert, you know. Uh, he he kind of talks about it. I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. Don't judge him, Miney. Jeez. Cam isn't responding. Mm, okay. I love to decorate with different seasons. Same. That's all you had to say? Okay, jeez. <laughs> I thought she was going to say something more, but... Oh, okay, he's just going to keep it being that. Hello, Emily. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. But it's such a long trip to this city. Okay, cool. Is Elliot going to come here? It's just Saturday night. Is he going to come here? Or is it a Friday night where, they, where everyone goes there? Mm, I'm gonna wait till 10.30 to see if he shows up. If he doesn't show up, I'm gonna leave. I don't know. Because I know, like, Friday nights and Saturday nights is, like, normally the busiest nights at the saloon. And all the other nights are kind of, like, pretty empty. But I think on Thursdays, I think Harvey comes in. <laughs> I, I would know. I, I, I know Harvey's schedule pretty well. <laughs> but um but I think Thursday is also kind of a busy night. Sunday is not that busy. But um, cause there is one night, I think I think it was Friday where all of them come in. So I should have done it on Friday. Dang it. Oh, it's it's like eleven. Okay, he's not showing up, I guess. Oh my god, this sucks. Oh my god, it's so dark out. Oh, Willie's leaving. Moni's leaving. Okay, more of them. I guess um, I should have had one on Friday. Jeez. But yeah, that's what I think I would do. I'll marry my top five and um, do it like that. Because I want to know their cutscenes. Like, there are, like, 14 heart events and stuff like that. Because, like, the events are, like, I think every, like, two hearts. So there's, like, a two heart event. Four, six, eight, ten... And then 12, 14, yeah, fall asleep. So I I don't really, I don't want to get all of them because that's going to take a while. But I think I would want to see, like, the four, all 14 hearts for, like, the top five. So maybe I'll do that. Um, Maybe I'll marry Abigail first because I just want to be her friend. I don't really want to be her. Um, but then, should I really marry her if I just want to be her friend? I'll be stringing her along, and that's not nice. Oh, I should probably watch the TV and see what they have. What they have for? Clear and sunny. Ugh, to do work. Fortune Tyler. Ooh, the spears are annoyed. Okay, thank you. We know the sauce. Oh, that's like the um recipe thing. Stir fry. Cool. I don't have a kitchen, though. But thank you. Oh, I don't know. I have to see. Hmm. Oh, dear Fermadito, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's why I can help. If you bring me new... Oh, if you bring me some raw materials and pay me a fee, I can expand your house. 
The first expansion that I offer includes a kitchen. Oh, I was just talking about that. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Honestly, what happened? I didn't take offense to it. I know that you were just joking. And it kind of is like, you know, breaking a pipe. So, <laughs> you weren't lying. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just marry, like, Maru, Penny, Shane. No, not Shane. Sebastian and Heidi. Because I think those are, like, my top two out of the bachelors and bachelorettes probably just marry them i don't want i don't want to string along abigail that'd be that, that that's that's kind of mean i don't want to do that oops what am i doing <laughs> all right so then today maybe i should because i think elliot wakes up pretty early so maybe let's go wait if i'm going by um by um the beach i should just take how much wood do i have should i just take my wood i almost have 300 okay let's see chop down some tree oops i missed okay let's see chop this down i like to get 300 so that i can fix that bed boop, 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 boop. cool 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 Get that tree. I have. I need like a uh, forty-eight more. I, don't know. I hope I don't lose that much energy. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, speaking of which, um, I this kind of relates to Stardew Valley, but like there is this game that's in development that I'm kind of excited about. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it's called Coral Island. Oh, I don't want any wood to fall in the uh, 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 thing. But, um, I just saw like on YouTube. Oh, I can't pick that up. Whatever. I have 300 anyways. I have 300 wood anyways. I saw it on YouTube because I follow them on Twitter because it's like, it's inspired by Stardew Valley and I think also, Harvest Moon. I never played Harvest Moon, but, like, Stardew Valley is inspired by Harvest Moon, too. So, it's, like, Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley are both farming simulators, and Coral Island is gonna be a farming simulator, too. But it also has, like, the core. It's, like, more, um, ocean base. So, you can also, like, um, help, um, restore the coral reef. And I was looking at it because, um... It's not like the 8-bit design, like Stardew Valley. It's more like the, it's like 3D, and um, it's kind of like, like The Sims, but not really. Like, it's more like cartoony. Like the people look more cartoony than The Sims. Where am I going over here? They look more cartoony than The Sims. But I was looking at it because they released a video like, like earlier this month about the character customization. Um, at least what they have that they've been working on so far. And I think it looks, like, really interesting. And then I went on the Kickstarter, and I, I'm i already choosing, like, who I'm going to marry, and the game's not out yet. <laughs> and the thing is, like, um, I don't know if they were hoping to... I don't know if they set a date on when they're going to release it, because they are going to release it for the Switch. At first, they were just going to release it on PC, but then on the Kickstarter, they met the goal, like, the... um the uh set amount for putting it on like the switch the ps4 no ps4 uh the playstation i don't know which i don't know what models are now but they said that like it's going to be on pc switch playstation and xbox and i and i was looking at the kickstarter because i was interested in it because i like simulation games and like i like stardew valley it's pretty like relaxing to play and, like, the whole farming thing. And when they said that Coral Island, you can, like, marry people to you, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I'm gonna seduce the whole town again. <laughs> and on the Kickstarter, they have, um, all of the characters up. Because it's just, oh my god, I think there's, like, over 50 characters. I don't remember exactly. Is it, like, 52 or, like, 54? I have no idea. But they have a Kickstarter page up. And they tell you, like, everything about the game. Because people are like, oh, it's just a, it's like a rip-off of Stardew Valley. And there are a lot of similarities, but, like, Stardew Valley doesn't have, like, diving. Or at least not yet. Because, I mean, I know that Concerned Ape, um, the developer of Stardew Valley, he still puts out, like, a lot of updates. 
And I think, like, the most recent update, well, like, the biggest update that changed, like, gameplay-wise was, um, I do not know when he released it, but it was, like, I think it was in 2020. I think it was, it was pretty recent. And it was, um, about, like, this, um, island. Like, an island in the game. We haven't unlocked that yet. It's gonna take a while for, for us to unlock that. I just unlocked it in my main save. So, it's, like, way down the line. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't want to be mean or anything, but I will say that, like, Stardew, like, compared to The Sims 4, Stardew Valley has, like, a shit ton of content, and, like, it's kind of difficult. Oh, now my other one's saying low? Oh, whatever. Evelyn saw me! Evelyn, no! You didn't have anything? Ma, I didn't have anything! <laughs> but, like, um, because, like, The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, there was a lot of content, a lot of lore. Like, you could buy an expansion pack, and it would take you forever to, like, get through everything that the expansion pack had to offer while the sims 4 like it's kind of easy to get through everything that the expansion pack has like within a day but um oh, hi Haley. you know whatever she's gonna play about so i don't care but um and like with stardew valley there's like a lot of content as well there's oh, ivy <laughs> hi ivy I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. Don't worry, I'm immunocompromised. I get sick all the time. No, you're not a look at patient. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'll get sick. I promise you. My nose is my nose is messed up. Give listen. I'll be in your office every day in the fall and winter. Let me tell you, flu season. Oh boy, you'll be seeing me. Trust me. <laughs> but anyway, like Stony Valley. Um. It's, I don't know how much it costs. Is it like twenty dollars or thirty dollars? But there's like a, a lot of content. And, you know, like, with The Sims 4, um, it's, the expansion packs are really, really expensive. Even the stuff packs and the game packs are really expensive. And, like, the, you know, there's stuff there, but it's um, not as long-lasting, or at least not as difficult to get through as, like, The Sims 3 or The Sims 2. And it was Stardew Valley, there's, like, so much. So they could add, like, something like, Coral Island, like, I don't know what Concerned Ape is working on, obviously, I'm not buddies with him, I don't have his phone number, <laughs> so I can't be like, hey, what are you working on, but, um, people were talking about how, like, Coral Island is kind of, like, just a reboot, or, like, a remaster of Stardew Valley, but, I don't know, I was looking at it, and I thought it was pretty interesting, like, there's a lot of, like, aquatic stuff, and, like, coral reefs and stuff like that, and, like, preservation in that way that Stardew Valley doesn't have. And, like, it's a farming simulator, and, like, Stardew Valley got a lot of influence from Harvest Moon. I never played Harvest Moon, but people were talking about how, like, it was, you know, like, it's pretty, like, it's heavily inspired by it. It's not like it, but, like, it took a lot of inspiration from it. And it's kind of like that with Coral Island, but I definitely want to play it because they have a lot of hot characters <laughs> in the game. <laughs> I already have characters in mind that, like, I that I know I'm, I'm gonna, like, marry. <laughs> like, oh my god, there's one character named Noah. He looks good. I love his style. He has glasses. Is that how we want? <laughs> I love a good pair of glasses. <laughs> he doesn't have a mustache, though. Unfortunately. He doesn't. But he, he I think he has a bow tie. He has a pretty cool outfit. I do like him. And then, oh, there was, like, there was so many characters. I forgot their names. I, I remember Noah. Maybe I will marry Noah. I don't know. Maybe it's a sign. <laughs> but there's, like, so many characters. And it's, like, I'm kind of waiting. I'm, like, when is it going to come out? Like, I, there's more character customization in Core Island than Stardew Valley. Because, well, Stardew Valley is, like, the 8-bit type of style. So it's, like... The customization is, like, kind of, like, a little bit restricted by that style, I guess. But with Coral Island, it's, like, 3D. And there's, like, a lot of customization, especially, like, for, like, they have, like, uh, female bodies, male bodies, and non-binary bodies. And then they also have, um, prefix, um, is it called prefixes? Like, the Miss or Misses. They have, like, different, like, you can do, like, custom prefix. I guess they're probably going to address you. Like, or, like, maybe in, like, the letters, probably. But, like, there's a lot of customization, and, like, I'm really excited about that. And, you know, and it's all 3D. Like, so it's, like, The Sims and Stardew Valley combined, which I'm kind of excited about. Because I like the 8-bit style of Stardew Valley, but sometimes I wish there was a 3D version of Harvey. 
<laughs> and unfortunately, there's not like a Harvey look like in Coral Valley, but it's fine. It's fine. I, I'll I'll survive. I'll survive. No one can replace Harvey for me, but Noah came pretty close. <laughs> but um, wait, oh my god, I would love to see like a 3D version of Harvey. Oh my god, that'd be great. But I do like the 8-bit design of Stardew Valley. It's pretty cool. Shane, 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 Shane. Shane. I'm busy. Can't you tell? Will you still stop to talk to me? Jeez. Maybe he's trying to play hard to get. Not even. <laughs> and maybe he's playing hard to get. What, aren't we friends, Shane? You're my only friend here. Come on. He's playing hard to get for sure. I have no idea what Elliot is. <laughs> maybe should, should I just seduce Shane the whole time? Should I go for Shane first? Shane does have, like, a pretty sad storyline, though. I wanted to start with Elliot, you know? Oh, there he is. Let's we'll speak of the devil. What does he like? Does he like beer? I don't know. Elliot, do you like beer? Oh, my God, I have no money now. This is for me, Marvelous. He loves beer. Great. Well, I guess I didn't waste my money. Hello, I hope your new farming light is pinning out as you hoped. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Thanks. Wait, are we friends now? No. Well, oh well. It's fine. I wasn't very protective today. Hmm, I wonder why, Marnie. Were you actually at your store today or were you running around? Uh, I, I guess I should be nice to Marnie, but it's just, I I really don't like it where, like, I need to buy hay and she's not there. And then my animals are starving. <laughs> and I know I can make my own hay, but it's like, they eat so much hay. I should probably look at, like, the goals for, um, the thingamajigs, the, uh, Juminos, ju Juminos, I forgot the names. I had a horseradish and a daffodil and a leek and a dandelion. So, oh, yeah, uh, I can't get that yet. I don't have that stuff yet. What about <gasps> I have that stuff, too. I might in the fall. I know it's a low battery. I only have like 20, not 20, like uh, 13 minutes left. You can leave me alone, the Nintendo Switch. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so I can do the foraging. Uh, there's nothing in here. Oh, do I have to do the foraging first to unlock the other stuff? I think I do. Because there's like other stuff like here, here, here. So I think I need to unlock the foraging part and then it will open up the other uh, stuff for that. Well, would you look at that? There's a daffodil. Is that a It is a daffodil. Cool, great, awesome. You got a daffodil. I need to find a horse rider. So, yeah, I'm excited about Coral, Coral um, Island. I am excited about that. I think it'll be fun. I don't know when they're going to release it. I think they may have a trailer coming out in July. I think that's what their Twitter said. I don't know. They just said stay tuned for July. So, maybe they'll, like, announce, um, like, more news about that. A leak. Give me the leak. Thank you. Oh, is there something here? Ooh, oh, yeah, sure. I'll open it. I'll open it. Clay. Clay's fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about that. I think that'll be fun. I really do like Stardew Valley. It got. It took me a while to get used to it. When I first bought Stardew Valley, I was so lost. I was like, what the hell am I doing? And I didn't... I didn't know, like, how to, like, navigate the game because... I didn't play it on the PC. Um, I never played it on the PC, but when I was playing it on the Switch, the controls are like kind of difficult to remember. But I I know them now. I know I know them now. And then I got really into the game. So then when I found out like I can like flirt with people and date people, I was like, oh my god. Well, I'm gonna go after that doctor. <laughs> Cause I thought it was just like straight up farming. But then when I found out I could, like, seduce people, I was like, now we're talking. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna line it up. Now I need a horseradish and a dandelion. That's like, cool, cool, cool. I think I just find that outside. Because then um, I need to get, um... It's so dark out, I can't see anything. I'll just do it. Uh, I'll just go to bed and find the stuff tomorrow. Oh, Abigail. Oh, well, okay, now I'm... <laughs> I wanted to talk to her, but um, I guess she's busy. I got to talk to Elliot, but we're not friends yet. But I can give him another gift tomorrow. So, he likes beer. 
which is good. Um, I don't know if he likes bread. I'm trying to think, like, what vibes he gives me. Um, I didn't think he would like beer, but I guess he does. I thought he'd be, like, more like a wine guy, you know, like, fancy, fancy, Miss Nancy, stuff like that. He'd be like, I like, um, I don't know, antique wine. Is there antique wine? I don't know wine language. I just know how to drink it. I, I like, I... Like when I when I if I go to a wine tasting, I I think they I think the person the what do they call them the wine sommeliers, the wine experts the those dudes, I think they would hate me because I would not be there to learn about the wine I'd just be there to drink wine, and I think they want like kind of more like wine snobs where they're like mm, yes. I can smell the notes of, I don't know, apple. And I'll be like, yeah, it smells like wine. Cool, cool. And I'll, like, chug the, <laughs> the whole glass. Because um, my dad tries to be a fancy wine guy, but he is not. He does not know what he's talking about. He gets, like, those wine subscription boxes, and they give you, like, little books about, like, mm, this, pair this with seafood and he'll eat it with pizza <laughs> or he'll like make craft mac and cheese and like have a glass of wine like <laughs> he tries to be like a fancy wine guy he's like oh i got these subscription wine boxes there's wines from italy and wines from france and germany and napa valley california and it's like dad you're not a fancy wine guy <laughs> because we'll smell the wine and we'll be like um We'll be like, mm, I guess there's like notes of apple. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just because he, he tries to be a fancy wine guy. I think he's trying to be like what Elliot is, but he's not at all. He's definitely not like an. <laughs> I feel like Elliot's definitely more of like a fancy wine guy. <laughs> Wait, why am I cutting down a tree? Why am I doing that? Oh my god, no, I was trying to, I wanted to go to find Elliot. So, let's see. I have eight more minutes left. It's, um, only 8 a.m. on Stidy Valley. <laughs> but, um, oh, that bird scared me. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Can I grab that? Okay, cool. But I think Elliot would like wine, but unfortunately, I don't have the resources to make wine. We need kegs. And I think... I don't know if I have to, like, raise my farming skill, or if I need to be, like, friends with Gus to get kegs. I have no idea. But, um, I'll figure it out. I think he may like wine. I mean, I could look up what he likes, but I kind of want to figure it out on my own. Maybe he likes cheese. I don't know. He just seems so fancy. I just assumed that he'll like fancy stuff. I'm gonna check the trash. Check the trash. Should I talk to him? Oh no, I should talk to Penny. I wanna be friends with Penny. Hi. Penny is very shy at first. Oh, did you want something? No, it's fine. You can just read a book. <laughs> but I do like Penny. Penny's really nice. She's a school teacher um, for Jess and Vincent. They're like, Jess and Vincent are like the only kids in town. Um. And she's like a school teacher for them. And Pam's her mom. She's pretty nice. She's pretty cool. She's very shy though. And I think her storyline kind of does revolve around her mom a lot. Um, because her mom, um, what did we talk about? I don't think it's a spoiler if I tell you. Her mom does have problems with alcohol. And so does Shane. Um, like everyone has like their own little storyline. And with Pam, her storyline kind of like, oh, I was around how she feels responsible to, like, watch out for her mother and stuff like that. I didn't get, like, her whole storyline because I just, in my main save, I, like, dated her briefly. And then just broke it up because, I don't know, I just wasn't, like, I liked her, but she, I don't know. I just felt like her storyline revolved on her mom a lot. And, like, I wanted to get to know her. And, I mean, well, I guess it's not good to just break up with her because I won't get to know her. <laughs> but that was, like, my train of thought. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. I don't know. It's 11 a.m. Wait, did I did I water my plants? Cause it's like almost it's almost 10:30 now. What did I want to do? Did I want to see Elliot? I don't know. I'm not gonna see Mel Lewis. No, 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 no. <laughs> did I want to see Elliot? I'm not so sure. 
Oh, should I get, should I get more? There is Moni. See, not doing her job. Moni is never at her ranch. You love animals? Cool, great, thank you. She's never at her ranch. I'll take a break of work? I don't know, I don't want to have a job. But this is why I don't like Moni so much. Because she's never at her house when you need her to be there. Like, I don't need her to be there right now, but what if I did? And it's just... I, don't know, I mean, mine is alright. Oh, Sam. No. Yes, that's Sam. I'll talk to Sam. Hey, Freeman. I have a name. Is he rude, too? Good lord. I want to talk to Pam. Did you know I was an all-star quarterback in high school? It's true. Be the first star in my jacket here. That proves up. I don't know. I just don't like Alex. Alex seems like he peaked in high school. Oh no, Pam, I was a hangover. Let's see. I don't know what else. I don't know what Elliot is. I would like to go see Elliot. Should I go see Harvey? Is Harvey in his office right now? I'm not going to talk to Mayor Lewis. I do not want to be friends with that man. He's not in his office. Harvey, because the thing, I would not hold it against Harvey because I do know that Harvey works Tuesdays and there he is. See, he has a routine. He, he likes to take a break. He's on his lunch break, you know. He, he's working. He's still on the clock. We still have a few over-the-counter medicine at the clinic. Feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted. I know that being a fine word is pretty tiring work. Don't overdo it. Oh my god, thank you, Harvey. I love Harvey. He's so nice. And I feel like Harvey is one of the characters. Him and Angela, where they will flirt with the farmer, even if you're not dating them. While with the other people, they just kind of treat you as a friend until you start dating them. Which I guess is alright. They're, like, respecting boundaries and everything. But it's like... Oh, it's just Harvey. He's just a shy little nerdy guy with a mustache, and he likes to flirt. I'm like, wow, that's great. Am I taller than her? <sighs> oh, jeez. Well, I mean, old women, they, they do shrink. They do shrink. I'm afraid that I'm shrinking. I swear to God, I was 5'4", and then apparently I'm 5'3 and a half. But I swear, on my records, I was 5'4 at one point. I swear. I was. Maybe I'm shrinking right now. Isn't that, oh, there's a trash can right there. I kind of want to look at the trash can. And just kind of, I'm just going to forage today. I'm just going to forage and just like leave it off like that. I already went over there. Oh, that's why I kind of need to get um the market thing. Not the market thing. The community center thing. I want to see. Cause I need a horseradish and daffodil. Oh, there's Abigail. I already talked to her. Well, I'm going to talk to Maru. Hi, my Okay, cool, okay, cool, okay, cool. Let me see. Is there any horseradish over here? Maybe some dandelion? Oh, yeah, I need dandelion. Maybe on the mountains. Let me go get that. Oh, I should talk to Linus. I want to be Linus this point. I'm going to give him this granola bar. Where's Linus? Linus, Lin he's not over here. Maybe he's up here. I'm gonna give Linus a granola bar. Linus, Linus. He didn't. Oh, he doesn't like a granola bar. <gasps> he's being nicer to me though. Are we? Are we friends? Are we friends? No. <gasps> I have a heart with Harvey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Pam. Oh wow. Well, he's still there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. We'll be friends soon. I'd want to look to see if there was like any horseradish or anything over here. I don't think there is. Mm. Oh. So I'm already like 10 30 now. Oh, I got a lost book. I had a lost book. I don't think, if there's, not, if there's nothing over here, I'm just gonna, like, sell this stuff and then just, like, go to bed. Go to bed and, like, start developing, just, like, end the stream there. Let's see. And I really wish that they walked faster, or at least they had, like, a run option. Because I know on the computer, if you have Stardew Valley on the computer, you can, like, mod it out. And there is, like, a running mod for the computer. But... I bought it on the Switch. I thought it was like a Switch game. I didn't know it was a computer game first. 
So now I can't mod it out, but I'm fine. I don't need a mod Stardew Valley. For The Sims 4, I need to mod The Sims 4. I mean, I'm... If I don't mod The Sims 4, the only gameplay I can do is just, like, family gameplay. And it's like, I want more than that. <laughs> yeah, I saw this stuff. And then... Did I water? Yeah, I did water. Okay, cool. Great. Sell things. I mean, I don't have a lot of money, but, you know, I'm trying to get gifts for the villagers so I can seduce them. And I need, I need to work on money because I'm pretty sure either on day 10 or day 14, Mayor Lewis will, like, give us a note that we have to, like, get something for him. You need to be friends with Marnie in order to get the thing for him. So I need to get her up to two hearts. But it's difficult because she's never at uh, her rent. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep at like 5 p.m. <laughs> I had a rough day, you know? I was foraging, I was um trying to find Elliot, I couldn't find him, but that's fine. I mean, I do, I think I should like seduce him first. And then just go, maybe like Elliot, then Alex, and then I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, I think this is a good place to leave off right here. So I just exit to the title. They save like um per day, so it's not like Legend of Zelda where it's like autom automatic saves. So if I want to save it, I have to like go to bed. Yeah. So I think so. I mean, we got some stuff done today. I mean, we studied the farm. It it's like the first stream. It takes a while to start up Study Valley, and cause a a lot of like. The first few hours that you play, you have to, like, build up the farm and, like, get money because you're broke. But, I mean, we're friends with Harvey and Shane and Pam. So we made friends today. <laughs> I mean, I said I didn't want to seduce Harvey first, but um, I guess it's just natural. I think Destiny is trying to... <laughs> trying to tell me something but I, I do want to seduce Elliot first because you know I don't, I don't I never him Alex and Sam I did not get into their storylines so I know it's a little bad I'm ending the stream anyway <laughs> I'm just yelling at my, st my switch but because Elliot Alex and Sam I did not pursue their storylines at all I have no idea what their storyline is while with Shane Sebastian and Heidi I, I, I know their storylines already so I think for the next stream we should really focus on seducing Elliot. We're going to have to ignore Harvey. It's going to be hard, but I'm going to do it. I think I want to go for the Bachelor's first because I know a lot of the Bachelorette storylines, but the Bachelor's, I don't know, some, some of them are weird. So I didn't really like pursue the Bachelor's a lot except for Harvey and Sebastian, but I'll start with the Bachelor's first, seduce them, and then when I seduce all of the bachelors, and I'll move on to the bachelors and seduce them. Because the only storylines that I don't know is, like, um, let's see, um, Haley and Leah. I don't really know their storyline. I know a little bit of, um, Emily's, but, so that's our plan for next time. I would try to seduce, I'm going to focus on seducing, um... What's his name? Elliot. I totally forgot his name. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on seducing him, and and also doing the farm. We need we need to make money and then work on the community center, and I'll try to seduce him. Maybe get him to like a heart or two. I don't know. I don't know how long it's gonna take for us to do that. And I'm gonna be streaming Stardew Valley all the way up until July 29th, and then July 29th I'm switching over back over to Legend of Zelda. And, because The Legend of Zelda, I left off right before we got into the second Divine Views. So I'll do Stardew Valley, and then switch over to Legend of Zelda on July 29th. And again, um, I'm back to my normal streaming schedule now, so I'm just going to be doing 8pm Central Time to 10pm Central Time, or 10.30 Central Time. I don't know, it really depends on, like, where I'm at in the stream, or, like, where I'm at, if, like, I'm at, like, a good save point. But... And then the next time we'll be playing Study Valley again. And I'll be focusing on Elliot. We're going to focus on seducing him. So I'll, like, research what he likes and stuff and, like, whatever I guess I have. I guess I have to get to know him. You know, put Harvey on the back burner. But whatever, I guess, you know, um, I have to seduce the whole town, so. <laughs> so I guess I can't spend all my time with Harvey. But it's difficult. I love Harvey. He has a great mustache. <laughs> 
I can talk about his mustache for hours, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I think we did a pretty good start. Like, um, we got this, the farm kind of set up. We have some friends. So the next stream, I got to really focus on Elliot and Marnie and then also making money. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's good. Um, It's really late. I went way <laughs> I went, I went to like 1030 just because... If I play Stardew Valley, I like I lose count of like time. But, um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys on Thursday. We should get the music playing maybe. Ooh. Yeah, so I'll see you guys on Thursday at eight uh, p.m. Central Time, Chicago Time. All right, bye guys.